What's going on, folks? TJ Lowerman, aka That Sports Gamer, here, along with my good associate slash friend and sometimes guy that I talk to on the internet, Chris, aka Millennium. Friend is a really, really strong word. I know we, you know, we need to talk about this offline, but we need to figure out the tickets for that uh, that Phillies game. Oh, we absolutely do. Um, I we hadn't talked about it in a few days, so definitely want to do that though. Yeah, uh, Jeff's in the chat, so we should definitely get him in on that. Uh-huh. Uh huh. What's going on, people? Uh, we are here with bullpen banter, your weekly dose of chatter about MLB the show. Uh, nothing big's happened today, so it's just going to be a, a normal show. Uh, N- nothing big at all. No, no, there was no, there was no major Diamond Dynasty concern at all today. Nothing like that. Nope. Uh, so yes, obviously the big news that came out, I don't know, when did this come out? I feel like I've only heard about this like an hour ago. Uh, this actually started coming out earlier this afternoon. Uh, normally whenever news comes from SCEA, it comes right around the 12 to 2 area, uh, Mm -hmm. because obviously they're a West Coast company, starts up a little later for us East Coasters, um, but it's been pretty big. It, It, once it came to fruition on Twitter, it picked up a lot of steam with the hardcore community. Uh, that reminds me. Let me pull up. I want to pull up the message that uh, SEA put out. What was it yesterday or the day before? Yes, it was yesterday. I believe it was yesterday that they put out the, you know, accounts are going to be banned. And it was obviously a setup for this. Yeah, a little. The public service announcement uh, on banning. Right. Let me, uh, let me close all these windows so I can pull this up. Close down the porn, TJ. Uh, so, uh, everyone put out a post. On the 24th, so it's actually been a couple days now. Today is the 27th. Uh, if players gotcha. found cheating, exploiting, harassing other players, or breaking the rules in game or here on the Show Nation forums, we will suspend the account for a limited time or even permanently ban the ID and console. Uh, some of the things that can get you banned are harassment, trolling, insulting, spamming, cheating, abusing exploits, hostage situations, or griefing. I don't know what that means, but it sounds amazing. Um, uh, hostage situations normally goes on to keeping a person in game with exploits of that manner, either by lag griefing or stuff like that. That's the thing that makes me, uh, makes me walk away when I put my control down and I just leave. Right. Exactly. Uh, and selling of in-game currency for real world money. Uh, I feel like this is something that EA sports hasn't actually come out and said, uh, do with their ultimate teams, but selling of in-game currency, that's a bad thing. Cause I feel like every place that I've seen that does that is super shady. Yeah, really. Like, and everyone you've ever heard of doing this eventually gets to the point where they're like, "Oh, well, it looks like I've been scammed." And then they go. The first thing they do is go to the developer and go, "Hey, these guys scammed me." And they're like, "Well, why are you buying in-game currency from another from another site?" And look, it's just not way worse. Look, I'm not gonna lie. There has been one time in my life that I have sold in-game currency for real money. I did that to a friend. And that was during the Madden crossover from uh, when I switched from Xbox 360 to PS4. So, my hand, I got blood on my hands. Uh, but I did that through a friend that I trusted. I said, hey, I'm swapping. Do you want these? He's like, sure. We made a small transaction. So, don't get me wrong. I'm somewhat dirty in this whole situation as well. So, I'm not going to say... I- I've never done it personally. I've never gotten to the point where I needed something in terms of currency. Now you're saying to a friend, which is fine. I mean, if you're, if you're trading between friends, yes, it's technically against that, but what they're going after also, are the uh, guys. Also, guys. all my coin legally obtained. I'm not going out there hacking people's accounts and then selling that coin. Right. But like I said, I think the biggest, what they're, what they're aiming for are guys making a large amount of stubs by turning the community market on their side. Like right now I'm looking at daddy leagues home site. You know they have market gainers and market losers. Right now, I'm looking at a live series 74 Jonathan Broxton that it says that it went up 55,000 stubs, which means at some point somebody bought a Jonathan Broxton for 55,000 stubs. Right now in the market, it's not there. But, I mean, come on. Something's weird there. And right next to it on market losers... A live series, Cleveland Indians, 70 overall, Abraham Almonte, dropped from 99,000 stubs down to 65, which means at some point 
Daddy Lee's got a transaction of Abraham Almonte going for 99,000 stubs. Something's wrong with that. Yeah, it's... And here's the hard part. Like, maybe that is just, like, one per one friend being like, hey, I got 60,000 stubs, do you want them? Which would be great if we could actually do, because I've been dying to do that in this game. Uh, but you can't do that. So, yeah. Unless you get super lucky, and there was no Jonathan Broxons on the board. And somehow they got that one deal through. Right. And no offense. No one's buying a 74 Jonathan Broxton, which is a live series card that's been out for a while. I mean, I say I say that and people do it all the time in terms of people not knowing any better. But no one's buying a 74 Jonathan Broxton to, to complete the Cardinal set. Yeah. And so it's either a friend doing something or a real sale. Right. So I don't know. Um, Augman in the chat. Uh, says it has to do with two people being, or I'm sorry, with a person being logged into the market on two separate devices. Um, I, I've heard bits and pieces about what it's going to be. The problem is we're more than likely not going to hear it unless it comes from one of the people that are banned. Uh, Big Lex Money in the chat says, real talk, he got banned and didn't do anything but flip cards legit. Big Lex, this is all I'm going to say in terms of because I don't know the details. All I'm saying is the people that they banned made a large amount of stubs on what they're calling the community exploit. I'm not saying you did it purposely. You very well may have done it without even thinking about it. But they're not banning one-time people. They're banning people that did this multiple times. The people I saw Ramon talk to on Twitter were 26 times, 30-plus times, making multiple hundreds of thousands of stubs. One guy, Ramon even stated, made a million-plus stubs on 30-plus transactions. I don't know what it was. I have no idea what it was. The problem is, is that if you have that many stubs, you'd know what you did. I, I, I agree that you may have been flipping cards. Flipping cards is not the problem. Something else was. And if you were banned in error, email the support staff and they will get back to you. I guarantee that. But the people on Twitter are going, well, we need answers. We need answers. No one gets answers no one deserves answers except the people that were banned. If you consider yourself a community leader and you're out there going, well, guys, guys, I should know so I can tell everybody. No, that's not the way this works. It happens to all the games. Madden bans people all the time. You know, you do, you could be banned from all kinds of games. If it was wrongdoing, you'll be reinstated. If not, guess what? You did something. That's, I mean, that's all, that's all there is to it, unfortunately. That's just... Either you did it, if you did it multiple times, you knew you were doing it. If you didn't do it, they'll reinstate you. Yeah, Augman in the chat, I mean, I don't know if it's, this is true, but he's got it from Reddit, where you could put up a card for sale on your console, cancel it, get the subs back, and then, or do it, cancel it from your computer, get the subs back, then go on your com console, and then cancel it again and get those subs back again. Which and I'm guessing they fixed it, too? They said they fixed it Oh, already, yeah, they, so. they fixed it a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Well, Big Lex, like I said, Big Lex, again, just in chat, I don't, I'm not going to go back and forth about it, but he says he's never been banned from playing any game in his life. As long as you emailed them and you legitimately did not do anything wrong, they will reinstate you. Um, but from what I'm hearing is this is information they've gone over three and four times, multiple times to make sure that they didn't miss anybody. I, I mean, I'm not saying you did something wrong, but they're pretty certain on who they grabbed. Yeah. And don't get me wrong. I don't trust anything to do with their servers the majority of the time uh so if you feel like you really were banned accidentally definitely reach out to them uh via email because doing it on twitter is not going to do anything uh email is definitely the way to hit them up because i think that goes directly to the sport team because if you're just yelling at them on twitter that's just going to ramon and that's uh not going to do anything agreed uh i mean you want to say anything else about this you're the i mean you're the master of the ban hammer knowledge i mean Coming from a person that, I mean, I'm on a much smaller scale than SCEA is, but when you get banned, nobody is going to come out publicly and say why you got banned. It's not going to happen. It's going to be on individual users. You know, they're going to say, here's what you did. If this is what, I mean, that's, uh, that's what I'm hearing now is people are starting to get those emails back. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to get the emails back over the next couple of days. I'm sure they're slammed right now, but. If you didn't do anything, you have nothing to worry about. You have nothing to be angry. You might have a little bit to be angry about, but you'll be reinstated with no problem. But if you did something and you're just going on Twitter telling people you didn't do it, you didn't do it, you didn't do it, and you're not getting reinstated, I don't believe you. I don't believe San Diego Studios is banning people 
not reinstating them, and then isn't able to prove that. Listen, they want your money. And if you're banned, they can't get your money. Am I right? Am I crazy? Yeah, absolutely. But the problem is, is if they want your money, and if you are cheating to get more stubs, you're not giving them your money. Yeah. So that's a problem. And they, the, the other problem is this. People are like, oh, I was flipping cards. I was flipping cards. They want you to flip cards. When you flip cards, other people are buying them for actual stubs. Actually, they want you to flip cards because then they get you at that 10% tax, and they pull that money out of the... Uh out of the yeah. pool of money exactly. in the world. Yeah, that 10% tax, think about it. Every 10% that goes back to them is real money that was put into subs, either by playing game time or by buying them. They want you to flip the cards. They want the, Flipping the cards is their number one moneymaker, not just buying packs. Yeah. So I know you weren't banned, Doc, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's all I got to say on it. So Yeah, if you, were, if you feel you were banned... Accidentally, uh, the show at PlayStation.Sony.com. Uh, shoot them an, uh, an email. Uh, they should be able to help clear that up. I do know that they fixed up the error uh, where a bunch of people were getting uh, the mission sets completed without actually yeah. having to do them. That was last Thursday, I think, they started taking cards away from that. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's nice that they kind of fixed that. So, hopefully we get this cleared up. If anybody was banned accidentally, hopefully they get cleared up quick, and uh, we can all just get back to playing. Yeah, because, I mean, that's the big thing around here is every time something like this happens, and my problem isn't with SEA. Like, the community backlash is just, it comes really quickly and it's really hard, but in a week it'll be back to normal. And it affects the community for a couple days and some of the hardcore gamers get to the point where they're like, well, I don't really like all this negativity. You've got to step up and be above that, guys. Like, the guys, the hardcore guys that are streaming on this game nightly, you know, the CB5s, the Carl dudes, the Snake Doctors, all these guys that are here every, I mean, us, whenever we're streaming. Spore, 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 Spore. Yes, yeah, Spore. I mean, I love Spore. Outside sliders on all the time. Clutch Silver. I mean, all these guys that are mainstays in the show community streaming those are the guys that have to be that have to come in and say this is our community we're going to keep it positive it's like carl do this weekend i'm i'm you're never going to hear me talk more about this carl dude took a tournament of a hundred players and ran it all weekend that dude deserves a freaking medal for the positive uh hype he got out of that and he had legitimately people stopping in all weekend saying how awesome it was. So they're not going to lose half the community in this Big Lex money. They're not losing the community because the mainstays of this community are going to keep it positive. MLB The Show Tips underscore is in the chat. Same thing. Absolutely. This community is more positive than anybody gives it credit for. So we'll still be here. Yeah, I don't think uh, nobody that I know of got banned. Uh, from this, but yeah, and no one I know either. Um, I, I know some people were saying like pitching Rebel and a couple other guys. Well, and and Cardinal Bird was sticking up for them, saying that they didn't do anything wrong. If they didn't, they'll be reinstated without a problem. Yep. Uh, so yeah, Look, can we stick on the negativity for one second? Sure. I don't want to stay super negative, uh, but I've noticed. I mean, we discussed this in the first episode. You know, there's uh. Ten different, ten hundred different ways to play this game, with all the choices of settings and everything that you can have. Yeah, I am slightly getting tired of people on Twitter complaining about people's settings, or like, oh, why do you use the, use this guy? I'm so terrible with him. It's like, play the game the way you want to play it, and if you play better with certain people, and other people don't play good with them, it's all good. Just be happy that you're having fun. You know? I had That's a video. Re- I, had yeah, a, yeah, finish. I had that, uh, I don't know if you saw that comeback video that I put up on YouTube uh, yesterday or the day before. Where I, I, hit saw like, it. I hit like four home runs. Or what was that? I think I hit three home runs in that comeback video. First comment. You should use zoom offset. Much better camera angle. I just hit three home runs in like four batters. Why would I, <laughs> why would I want to change something? Well, and the cool, that's what I love about this game is that it's very unique in that a pitcher batter battle is different than anything else in sports. It's a one on one battle that you don't get in basketball, you don't get in football, 
You don't get in, you know, hockey. Those are all team-based sports that are constantly team-based. So if you do pitcher, batter, whatever gives you the advantage makes it better. I'm a huge fisheye guy. I love fisheye batting cam. Guys like CB5 and Carl, they like the um, strike zone. Ooh, you can't, like the can't yeah, do that see, strike zone. Can't do it. Ooh, but but they're good at it. Yeah. That's what they like to do. You use something in between, right? Uh, I use the offset camera. Yeah. So perfect. It's just that's what helps us all see. Mm -hmm. You know, I, it's like you said, that's better. Whatever you helps you play better. Yeah. I like meter pitching and zone hitting. Wait, you're using the analog for both of those now? Yeah, I'm using analog pitching, and I'm using zone analog. It's still zone, but it's using, like, you flick the stick up and move the PCI around. I also use the PCI off. One of the first things I get when I'm streaming is, why don't you use zone hitting? Well, I do. I just turn the PCI off because it interferes with me seeing the pitch break. Oh, see, I like it because I can. I feel like I see where the ball's going to get hit. Oh, but, I, absolutely. But that's why. There's a thousand different settings. We covered this in the first episode. Was it the first episode or was it the pre-first episode? It was the beta episode. Epis episode oh, oh. Episode double zero of Bullpen Banter. You can go to youtube.com slash thatsportsgamer. Uh, there's a whole Bullpen Banter playlist there. Uh, you can go. We Actually, I think you've changed your settings since we did that episode. So. I've changed my settings about three times because I tried different stuff. Always be open to trying different stuff. And I did. And it makes me a better player. So, all right. Can we uh I love it. we talk about happiness? Yeah, well and and you just typed it in the chat. I'm going to say the same thing. Big Lex money, the one thing I know about SCEA is when they screw up, if they screw up, they normally make it right. So, give them time to email you back and see what happens. Uh do, 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 do. what do I want to do here. Uh normally when we kick off the show, we talk about what we've been doing recently in the game. Uh I've just pulled up my screen. I just finished off the set for Adrian Beltre. I got him playing third base now. I do kind of want to go check out his stats that I have because uh, one of the things with him, even with his base card going back years, I have not been able to hit with him. Yeah, you've said that, and and it's I was it hurt me, it hurt me deep in the cockles of my heart. Because you said that you couldn't hit with him, but he is essentially the best, one of the best defensive third basemen in the game. So it's that weird batting stance he's got. All right, I had, I know I had six at bats and three strikeouts. I'm up to ten at bats now, four hits. I think he's gone four for four in his last four at bats with me. I, met, I must have figured something out. Also, well, you said he hit like two home runs in a game over two, the weekend for you, and hit that's two when home runs in the last game I played with him. Yeah, so, so I think I, I think I'm starting to turn the corner with Adrian Beltre. Uh, somebody asked me what was it. Uh, that did it for me. I don't know. I think I just was started being more patient with him. Also, looking up and in. I feel like everybody pitches him up and in because of the way he st his stance is so tight to the plate. Yeah, I know his his first home run I hit with him uh, went oppo. The second one uh, was not. I pulled it. It was up and in. I. I Speaking of, of new players, I very well might be really close to getting that AL West camp. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, you, you're close on the, uh, what did you say? You're close on the NL East, right? No, no, I want, want the, to do it? I want to get the Scherzer in the NL East. I'm not close to the NL East. I really want to get Max Scherzer because I love him as a pitcher, and I do well with him anytime I get him in, like, a, in a battle royale. But... I just have no interest in doing the NL East, so it feels like it almost feels like wasted stubs for me, because I like to start towards collections. Mm -hmm. But uh, so I think what I'm going to end up doing is finally putting the stubs down on like a Nolan Arenado to get my Ubaldo Jimenez that I've been harping on for weeks now, and then probably after that, I, I think I'm going to go and finish the AL West and get the get the Matt Kemp that Snake Doctors talked me into. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I hear that Matt Kemp's good. I used him in Battle Royal a little bit, uh, and I was a big fan of him. Yep. So, I'm, and, and I love his batting stance, too. So, works for me. Yeah. Uh, another thing I've been doing, uh, I just started up a new Battle Royal uh, yesterday. Uh, I just want to talk about this team because it's pretty legit. It took some defensive changes, which was kind of a pain. 
Uh, but I got Marcelo Zuna in center field. Uh, Ian Desmond in at shortstop. So this is his regular card with the boost. Uh, right. Regular card. I think it's a base center fielder. I mean, I could just hit triangle to find out. Base center fielder, secondary position is shortstop. 87 right. arm strength, 84 fielding. I'm fine with that playing out of position. Uh, Joey Votto, flashback, playing first base. Uh, flashback Ryan Braun, who is a third baseman by default. Uh, I have him playing left field on my team. So I picked up flashback David Freeze to be the third baseman. Beast. Uh, base Jay Worth, who's a left fielder in the game. I have him playing right, which is a secondary position. Catching is Deonor Navarro. Mike of flashback Mike Aviles, who's a shortstop. I have him playing second base. That's his backup position. Uh, and I'm hoping this team can take me deep. And hopefully we get some good cards and not trash like this Tim Linscombe. That's the- well, Linscombe's not bad. He's probably going to get better if he keeps pitching for the Angels like he did uh, in his debut. I think I have like nine Linscombe's. I think he got shelled in his last start, though. Did he? Uh, I didn't see the last start. I know. I remember seeing the debut start. After uh, after Weaver pitched real good. I think would Weaver throw like a shutout? Then like the next day, Linscombe came and got bombed. Can I talk about the? I got the um because remember I got the trout. I pulled the trout after um in a free pack after one of our shows a couple weeks ago. Can I tell you that I got the Jared Weaver for completing the Angels collection? Beat really him. good. Does he break really class good. with fastball or no? No, no, no. He's complete. He's completely um just finesse. But if you can pitch with him, he is so good. I, I couldn't believe the success I've had with him. All right, so uh, yeah. Oh, well, he's got twelve. Does he have twelve to six or a regular curve? Uh, I think he's got the sweeping curve. I could be wrong. You know what? I will check real quick while you're moving on to the roster update. Yeah. Next up, we're gonna talk about the roster update that came out last Friday. Uh, let me get this in the right spot. It is a regular curve, by the way. He's got four seam, two seam, change, regular curve, and slider. I feel like it breaks. Curveball's got, nine, curveball's got 99 control, by the way. Uh, it should break up and down, though, I would assume. I haven't seen it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's good. Uh, as Go you on. know, we always use uh, Daddy Leagues. Uh, DaddyLeagues.com. Then you hit the DD up here, and you can check out attribute changes uh, from there. <laughs> uh, one thing I did, though, I threw it into a Google Doc, because everything's better in a Google Doc. Uh, there's 16 new cards this week. Uh, including a flashback Felix Hernandez, flashback Carlos Gomez. There's two flashback Carlos Gomez, right? Or, sorry, Carlos Gonzalez's? Yeah, there's a rookie who puts it up to... Um, you have to get 80 hits to get to the 97. Uh, yeah, so techn- that's weird. It doesn't show up here as a flashback. Maybe it doesn't show up on Daddy Leagues at all? Uh, the rookie card should. The, the, the rookie... I think it's a silver card should. It doesn't show up in the attributes file. Gotcha. Weirdly enough. Uh, flashback Fernando Rodney. Flashback Martin Prado. Flashback Franklin Gutierrez. Uh, that Gutierrez is a beast, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yes, that Gutierrez. That Goody is nice. I think he mashes. What does he mash? Lefties, I believe it is. Uh, yes, mashes lefties. 81 contact versus lefties. 79 power versus lefties. Yes, Pretty he is beastly. perfect. He is perfect if you want to throw him in a platoon with, say, a Nomar Mazzara. Mm-hmm. But uh, that defense on Goody. Yeah. Oh. 95 fielding, 88 arm strength, 91 reaction. Absolutely. So he's he's going to be tracking balls down for you. Even though he's only got 70 speed, uh, that reaction is going to get him over there pretty quick. And that fielding, remember, the fielding number goes into his speed when it comes to fielding. Um, so his fielding gets boosted not only by the first step reaction, but his top. Uh, his top speed gets boosted with fielding as well. Uh, who else we got here? Uh, Wilson Contreras gets his first card. Uh, Cubs minor leaguer. 74 overall. Uh, then, this was, uh, I confirmed, with uh, with the daddy of leagues. Uh, this has been the most changes in a roster update all year. Uh, there's been a total of 87 overall changes in this week's uh, roster update. Some of them were just position changes, like Manny Machado. He dropped back down to a 96 for moving from short to third. Uh, 
but the absolute value of points changed is 278 overall points. Pretty ridiculous. That's a ton. <laughs> yep. Uh, some of the big ones, uh, Manny Machado we mentioned is only one. That's only a position drop uh, from him moving. Uh, the big ones, though, uh, Xander Bogarts up to a 93. He's just he's just dominating this year. He's already got a, I think he's already got a bunch of updates already. Prob yeah, he has. Um, a lot of people were calling him. Matter of fact, underscore tips in the chat room was calling him this year's Bryce Harper. Uh, started all the way down at a, I believe he was a bronze when he started maybe a silver, and is all the way up to a diamond already. Easily the best contact hitting shortstop in the game. Uh, started um, as a silver 84. Oh, there you go. Started as a silver, yep. Jumped up nine points in four updates. Yeah. Pretty good. I think a lot, and, and I'm, I'm with tips, just said RIP Manny's shortstop career in the show. Yeah, I was, I was a little upset. Um, I still play him at shortstop because yeah. it's, it's still one of the best shortstops in the game, so. Uh, who else? Who else? Uh, Andrew Miller's a diamond, right? 93 is a diamond, so Andrew Miller's up there now. Uh, Batansis drops out of it, so they just did a little, swip, uh, a little swap. Uh, Mookie Betts up to a 90. Red Sox, Red Sox offensive players just going up. Yep, let's, uh, let's talk about the next, the next two out of the next four let's talk about. First off, I want to say Bryce Harper got another two hit to his overall. Yeah, if Bryce Harper doesn't start hitting, like he's still got power, he's stealing some bases, he's still getting walks, but walks aren't going to do you a whole lot of good in MLB The Show Diamond Dynasty. Your discipline rating doesn't have a lot to do with gameplay, so against another user. I feel like that rookie Bryce Harper is looking better and better every day. I mean, without hitting, getting that inside edge, Harper could very easily hit gold by the end of the summer. Mm -hmm. um, but he's always he getting inside edge. He's been, he's been 99 with inside edge like every night, though. Right, yeah. I mean, he's always going to get that inside edge boost because of his history. So, yeah. Uh, who do we want to talk about first? McCutcheon drops from a 94 down to an 89. It's a pretty big hit. Yeah. Um, I want to talk. Let, let's talk about McCutcheon because we're going to. Both of them are in the same boat right now. Neither one of them has had a good has had a good start to the season. McCutcheon specifically drops. Uh, what is it? Twelve points contact versus righties. Yep. Five points, still a 92 contact for his lefties, but now both of his powers are in the 60s. I mean, that's not an elite hitter to me. And his vision uh, dropped, his discipline dropped. Yeah, that's... His speed he, took a six-point hit. He's not stealing bases. He, he used to get some steals. He's not stealing bases, so that speed is going to take a drop. Yeah. So, um, but now he's like 21K. Yeah. If you feel well, like he's going to bounce back, now's a great time to get him. Well, and it's gonna be 40, this guy, right? the next guy we talk about. Yeah, no, no, he was he was definitely. And the thing is, is that he started hitting. Like this, this update came around, and he started mashing the ball. Look I mean, that. outside of outside of arguing strikes and balls on Sunday night. Yeah, you, when you see you see the roster update in the the history on Daddy Leagues, he just fell off a cliff. He was selling for 50, forty, somewhere between forty and sixty, and now he's twenty to thirty. Yeah, so. Definitely, I know somebody was asking about investments. I think that was Irby ninety eight. I man, if you've got the stubs, McCutcheon and and <coughs> like the next guy we talk about, Giancarlo Stanton, both guys have just started mashing the ball lately. Might be worth grabbing both guys in preparation for them going back up. Yep, uh, Stanton drops from a ninety three to an eighty seven. Ten points I... on his contact versus righties. Nine points on his contact versus lefties. Uh, seven points on his power versus righties, two points on his power versus lefties, so that's not bad. Uh, his anemic vision got even smaller from a 35 to a 28. Yeah. Ugh. Can I mean, can you really, and, and for franchise players, his durability went from 89 to 69, by the way. I know that's not a lot for Diamond Dynasty guys, but for franchise guys, durability affects how often you can play, not just how often you get hurt. His energy is going to go down faster, too. So, I mean, I don't know. Stanton just started, like I said, he just started hitting again. He's pretty good at fielding. He's, I think he's an undervalued fielder, even though he doesn't have the speed. So he's going to come back up at some point. I don't think, I think 87 is the lowest he's going to drop. Mm -hmm. But that vision, dude, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know that I could play with that vision. That's tough. Uh, what's You know what Salty's is by any chance? Salty's vision? Yeah, Salty's probably the lowest vision I have on my team. 
Yeah, but when you hit something with Salty, that thing flies. I mean, not yeah. saying we would hit it the same way with Stanton, but there are so many options you can have in the outfield, especially in right field, that this Stanton now becomes, right now, an 87 Stanton is just okay. It's not great. He's got power for you. Especially yeah, against, but you hit the against ball. lefties, he's real good if you can make contact. He was selling for 55000 this time last week. Now you can get him for under thirty. I mean, this this is the time, and it might be the time for that Miami uh, collection. What is it, the Hanley Ramirez? Uh, yeah, the only thing, I think, the only problem with that, I just want to look. Did Fernandez go up? I want to say Fernandez went up. Uh, I think as he fell, yeah, you, you, it is a little bit of a bump, uh, but Fernandez is going in 65 to 70,000 now. He was a little. Yeah. He was a little bit lower before, uh, but now he's the he's the key to that set. Yeah, I think I, I still think. And Fernandez just got a new slider. Tips will correct me if I'm wrong. I think he got a new slider. So with a 99 break, 92 control. So, I mean, if you're gonna do it, if you really, if you want the Hanley, and you want to get well on your way to that Chipper Jones. Dude, Jose Fernandez, with the amount that he has risen and the amount that Giancarlo Stanton has dropped, it's still the cheapest time. Mm -hmm. Uh, Who was the other person? You said three people. Uh, No, no, I wanted to talk about those two. And uh, the other one I wanted to talk about is Will Myers. Will Myers, beast. Yeah, dude, that guy has hit everything this year. Plays first place, first place, first base. Um, has gotten steady upgrades from Sony all year. He's an 85, is still under 1,500. Get this, 70 contact versus righties, 81 contact versus lefties, 70 power versus righties, a little under the weather with his power versus lefties. I think that's going to come up at some point. But, I mean, 64 vision. 67 serviceable. Yeah. And he can play. He can play uh, multiple positions for you. And he plays for San Diego. Never, ever overlook the fact that if he performs in San Diego, he's going to get a faster upgrade because that's where Sony's located. There is a notable bias on for that team. So uh, I'm going to go. Daddy Leaks has still have this. Uh, Daddy Leaks still has the MLB 15 stuff up. Uh, so I'm going to go over to last year's Matt Kemp card. Assuming it loads fast. Uh, from the chat, Xander3131 says, Stanton looking like the most overrated guy in the game from his real real life, and he's talking about the contract. We'll talk about the NL East at some point, but Giancarlo Stanton's contract on the OSFM rosters, 10 years, starts at $20 million a year, goes by the 10th year, it's 31. He's 26. That's rough. Yeah. Uh, last year, Matt Kemp got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight updates. I mean, look at that. And so from May to August, you can see that. But I mean, it's pretty consistent. Yep. Diamond's the limit for Will Myers. Think I, so? Actually, you know, it's funny. Uh, I'm working. I think the next one I'm working on is the Rays set. Get that flashback, Will Myers. Great, yes. great bench piece. And I'm going to get that Kinsler. Double bonus. Uh, Zobrist. 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 The utility player extraordinaire. Another second baseman, because I don't have enough of them yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, yeah, if I have uh, Will Myers, who can pretty much play all the outfield positions, then I'll have Zobrist, who can play all the infield positions. I'll be pretty set. That's Absolutely. My, that's, my, that's two guys on my bench. Just I'd never have to worry about that again. Just saying. Yep, and I think the flashback Will Myers is an outfielder. He's By, by trade, he's not like a guy you're going to be putting out there and getting a uh, drop for. I wonder who the biggest move was. Da, 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 da. Can, I sort, can I click this? Kendrick got a plus five, but I think that was mostly because he came in from the outfield, is back at second base now. Um, let's see here. Oh, a big guy that uh, Underscore talks about all the time, Wilson Ramos. Catcher? Beast. I mean, he was my... Yeah. Uh, he was my... I think you had him as my catcher. Ooh, Colton Wong takes a negative eight hit moving to center field. That's not good. Yeah, I mean, that, like, but again, that's just a center field. That's just a hit for what he's doing. Rajay Davis, keep an eye on him. He's having an outstanding year in Cleveland. Um, contact isn't where you want it versus righties, but versus lefties. And, of course, he's got elite speed. 
So uh, Conforto got sent to AAA, took a negative five hit. Yeah, Conforto is is done for the time being. Uh, biggest upgrade: Carlos Estevez went from a fifty-eight to a seventy. I assume some of that was going from something to a closer. Yeah, from relief pitcher to a closer. Actually, most of it. Actually, his hits over nine went from forty-six to seventy-five. What up with and- what happened to Joe Blanton? Jumped up nine points. Also, huge factor in getting me up to uh, that Adrian Beltre. <laughs> Oh, getting because of his uh, upgrade, you get more points for him. Uh, so he must have gone from relief to starter. Yeah, he was their long reliever. But that's usually five points, right? So we got another couple tacked on too. So well, he upped his stamina. His hits over nine took a boost. His home runs over nine took a boost. K over nine took a boost. So Malik Smith got a plus six. Uh, assume, you love that Atlanta. Assume some of that must have been uh, positional. Michael Saunders got a plus six. Uh, Malik Smith. I'm saying this now. By episode something something of this show, Malik Smith's gonna be gold. It might be yeah. MLB nineteen. But Malik <laughs> Smith's gonna be mind. gold. Malik Smith's um, gonna be one fire. of the one of the guys I want to talk about real quick because we know we don't do much budget at this point. But if you're looking to round out your bullpen, and hometown bias aside, Brad Brock is having an all star year. Are you getting um, that bid? Or he's gonna go find him. Yeah, he's got a he's a plus three. He's seventy eight overall now. Um, I, I want you to listen to this. 94 fastball, nine or 85 splitter, 85 slider, 92 uh, two seamer. But his hits over nines in 81 now. His K over nines in 84 now. He's got a 74 clutch. This guy could be a right-handed reliever for you without question. Um, even in some of the best bullpens, he just got boosted to a silver. His boosts aren't done because Darren O'Day is out right now. Brad Brock is essentially setting up for the Orioles and has been lights out. So definitely keep an eye on him. If you got like a silver team, maybe binging on a gold team, maybe he could do it. So I would definitely keep an eye on Brad Brock as a relief pitcher. Uh, yeah, I like the fastball splitter slider combo. Got a little bit of everything. Yep. Only two speeds kind of sucks, but. If you're a really pitcher, play. it's all right. It'll play. Yeah, it'll play. Uh, anybody else we want to mention in this roster update? Let me just look. Uh, this dude seemed to be a beast. Adam Duvall. Good things coming out of uh, Red's land about him. Yep. Started as a 63 up to a 78. Uh, 50s in the contacts, but 80s in the power. 87 power versus righties for <sighs> less than 100 subs. Just saying. Just saying, twenty nine vision sucks, but hey, keep keeping an eye on on those battle royale teams too. Hmm. Let me. I'm just gonna do this. I'm probably crazy. I'm gonna do a little comparison here. This is where I vamp for uh, TJ. So, guys, what's Duvall. going on? What? Sorry, Adam Duvall. Yes, Adam Duvall. Sorry. Oh yeah, Larry Ho- Larry Hova brings up a great name, Jake Lamb was on an IE boost yesterday. I played against him in Battle Royale like three times. Guy was a beast. Destroys right hand pitching. Listen to this. Are you ready for this? I got I got Duval. I mean, I don't know if you're watching a stream. I'm watching. I got oh, well, you can see it. Then it's just not fun. Gene Carlos Stanton, 54 contact versus righties. Adam Duval, 58 contact versus righties. Come on. Gene Carlos Stanton. <laughs> 87 power against righties. Adam Duvall, 87 power against righties. Come on, bro. And you can see a lot A lot of what Stanton is getting in that 87 is boosted artificially for Diamond Dynasty purposes with his discipline rating. Um, he gets a 91. Granted, he still has that power versus lefties? Uh, yeah. Uh, he's got 87 but, power versus lefties. But Duvall's got 81 power versus lefties. Or 97 power versus lefties. Duvall still has 81 power versus lefties. Not bad. Right. Yeah, not bad at all. But, I mean... I'm sure that I'm sure there's a bone that you can find out there that's 76 power. You know what? We're going to do it. Uh, what do I need? I need against s- against lefties. I need 76 contact and plus 90 plus versus right lefties. We just talked about him. Name him. Uh, I'm going to as soon as I get back to him. The, the, the Gutierrez. You could get the Gutierrez, play him in left field for under 1500 stops. Hold. Absolutely mashes. 
hold, please. What am I looking for? I'm looking for 90 power versus lefties. I mean, that's going to be hard to find. Can I get I'd you? say I'd say 85. Can Give I it get, an 85. Can I get you into a Justin Ruggiano? I would take Justin Ruggiano, you know, the six flashback? times a week and twice on, uh, twice on Saturdays. The flashback? I mean, I don't know what you're actually going to pay for him uh, because this stuff looks a little weird. But if you told me that for six grand or for 5,500 subs, you can get Nelson Cruz and Adam Duvall as a platoon. Actually, I think uh, Nelson Cruz, Nelson Cruz literally just might just be straight up better than Gene Carlos Santa right now. I could I could deal with that. If you can deal with his fielding, I could see that. Duvall has crappier fielding, but what are you going to do? Yeah, there's uh, options Larry that you can save on. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, Larry Hova in the chat says he gets Ruggiano gets no IE boost though, but you're absolutely right. But for the you know, <laughs> oh, MLB the Show Tip says Justin Ruggiano just hit him a pinch hit grand slam, sold. See, it's not like I'm making this stuff up, folks. <laughs> this is all well in depth studying of these numbers that I still don't know what anything means. Can I can I pimp them for one second real quick on Thursday nights? Walking off on uh, it's score space. Twitch Twitch TV slash Scorespace. Mm. They just started back again. It's uh, show t- it's tips. Uh, I'm gonna say outside slider, spur, and I'm missing one. Carl, it was Carl, dude. Yeah, dude. They uh, it's it's so amazing listening to them guys go. By the way, so definitely want to go ahead. I'll throw it in the chat real quick. The link. Want to give them a follow at Twitch TV. I try to spell. And Thursday nights, guys, definitely want to give them a follow. Yep. Uh, I've learned a lot from them, uh, specifically never take live calls. And uh, <laughs> if you do have, if you want to, if you want to leave a message, you can record it and send it to feedback at that sports uh, If you or if you have any questions, you can hit me or Millennium up on Twitter or leave comments in the comments below. Uh, because yeah, I'm never going to take a live call after uh, what happened last week on. <laughs> That show. Spore, 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 spore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know what? But the information coming from that show is amazing. So definitely want to give them a follow, too. Dude, I kind of want to go get an Adam Duvall and see how he plays. <laughs> I bet he's a beast. Budget beast. So anyone else in the, in the roster? <laughs> I can't do it. Roster update that you'd like to talk about besides Spore, Spore, Spore? No. Uh... Is Monty Tomas looking big? Sean Doolittle got another plus one. Good for him. He was like an 87. Now he's up to 82. Ozuna got a plus three. Let's see what that's all about. Because Ozuna rakes against lefties. Well, that was the, the Ozuna going, getting the plus. The, the update was part of the reason that I, that, uh, I liked him a lot more. I know you were, you were high on him before. This update really hit him for me. Uh, 94 contact versus lefties. 85 power versus lefties. Yo, if you play Ozuna and Duval, was Duval oh, there against you righties? Mm-hmm. Bonus, right there. You're a beast. That's a combo that cost you 250 stubs. Now you're mashing balls. You know, you're not S A W F T. You're mashing so... balls because you're H A R D. All right. If I had a dime for every time I didn't hit a home run with that platoon. I would have zero dimes. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, I mean, we've been talking for 45 minutes, so we better make this next uh, next bit quick. I can make it quick. I promise. All right. Uh, we're not going to talk about the uh, captain store because they're crap. Oh, uh, it's worst captain store to date. Yeah. Something makes me think that they maybe picked the captain store people like at the beginning of the season and didn't think their rosters were, their stuff was going to change. That's my only assumption. Uh, maybe. Uh, it has to be. I mean, there's silvers galore in the captain store. The Greg Holland doesn't count because you can get him cheap. Um, uh, the, Cor- the Corbin was a goal to start the year. Wainwright was obviously a goal to start the year. Who was in this uh, Rizzo set that was a gold when, Rain- when, Wain- uh, when Wainwright was there earlier? There was a gold at rank 20, and then Wainwright was rank 30. I, I don't know. I was. It, I remember someone being there. I remember. Forget who it was. Somebody, somebody who was a silver, which 
is why they would. Yeah, it was a lower gold. It was definitely a lower gold. All right, let's uh, let's hop over to share play. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out how to do this. Share play. Join. <laughs> Join my party. We're gonna be. We're gonna uh, make the show great again. Uh, and then later on tonight, we're going to be doing uh, some bullpen uh, bullpen banter, some uh, battle royale gameplay uh, with this dope offensive team that I built. Your hot fire uh, battle royale team. Yeah. Uh, all right, folks. So tonight's main topic of the show, uh, we're going to be talking about the NL West. Last week, we talked about the AL West with Pasta Padre uh, and how his Mariners are probably like the third best team to be there. Uh, tonight, we're going to talk about the NL West and how the Padres are trash.com. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, more for a franchise-focused uh, player. Uh, these are using the Operation Sports... What is it? The Draft? What's the name of it? Do you know the exact name of the, the roster? OSFM Draft Roster. This is technically the 40-man version, but they're both the same rosters. Hmm. Um, the OSFM Draft version is up under Ryden, down with no O, Kingsley. The 40 man is up under Steve Marshall, no A, two L's, uh, two, I believe. Sure. Is that real in the chat, by the way? I got a guy in the chat saying Syndergaard has bone spurs and may have season ending surgery. Uh, I know he was came out of his last game with some injury stuff, uh, like a sore elbow, a tender, a tender elbow, if you will. Uh, I know he was starting tonight, I believe, uh, but I have not seen it happen. I can pull it got up it. Though, while you. While you talk and I go get water, you can, uh, you can, uh, I can look this up. Nope. No problem. So what we're going to start with, we're going to talk about the NL West with the draft franchise. And we're going to talk about what you can do with your NL West team to succeed in one year or in the future. Um, we're going to start with the Arizona Diamondbacks. You'll see here that I have control of all five of the AL West teams right now. We're going to go first into the budget. I talked about this last week. One of the best upgrades Sony made to franchise mode was this budget screen because you can plan out where you're going to go. You see here the Diamondbacks have $131 million as their total budget, and they have a payroll of $121 million. If we switch over to the future budget, you will see a lot of that goes into Zach Greinke. <laughs> um, so to start, they're going to have $105 million in 2016 under contracts. With, on their big contracts, this is not their minor leagues. The minor leagues make up the rest of that twenty mil, or the rest of that fifteen million. I went ahead and you can see the fifty-six million in twenty seventeen. That is specifically just those five guys you see there: Zach Greinke, Yasmani Tomas, uh, Goldie, Clippard, and AJ Pollock. Uh, Anthony Banda, his contract isn't going to count to this because he's he's part of the draft roster that they do such an amazing job on. Or no, that wasn't a draft roster. That was somebody else. So the key here is you're only going to have $131 million to work with, not including any upgrades you might get. Once you get down to $56 million, that's going to leave you with about 70 to play with. I'm going to tell you right now that you should be trading. You should be looking to trade Zach Greinke if you're not winning the first year. And this is why. We're going to go over to the manage roster screen. We're going to sort by potential, and we're going to show you the pitching. That pitching staff has so much depth right now. Um, so many young guys very close to the majors. Uh, you see Archie Bradley is already there as an A overall. They've got Shelby Miller. Uh, Braden Shipley is probably two years away. Corbin Escobar, Yon Lopez is probably two or three years away, and then Robbie Ray. Don't sleep on Robbie De La Rosa, though. No, and he's and you can see the way I sorted it. Remember the C potential guys? That's a high C. So Robbie De La Rosa is probably going to bring in the back end of your rotation for most of the first year anyway. And we all love high C. Yeah, high C, especially the ecto cooler they brought back this summer. I love it. Um, the second year, you're going to get sixteen point five million in arbitration with the arbitration guys. That's going to be uh, Corbin, Segura, Castillo, Shelby Miller, De La Rosa, and uh, I think it's Del yeah Wilson Delgado. 
So you're looking to play probably with around $55 million your second year, take about 20 away to re-sign all of your uh, minor league rookies. That's why I'm saying you trade Zach Granke. You can go for a huge free agent splash your first year. You're not going to lose that much in your pitching staff because Corbin will be up there and Shelby Miller will be up there. Bradley will be close to an 80 by your second year. And the problem with the Diamondbacks is, you see, their bullpen is already pretty good. Um, you're going to be able to re-sign a lot of those guys. I'm sorry, not Wilson, Randall Delgado. Ziggler, you're going to let go. It's not a big deal. They don't have, so you're looking at Wellington Castillo here is probably your catcher for a while. Beef. Hernandez, yeah, beef absolute Wellington. beast. And yep, beef, beef Wellington. and a beast. Um, Hernandez is a decent backup catcher, but past that, you don't have a lot in the system in terms of guys that are going to come up and help you. Luckily, your starting your starting lineup is pretty young, so you can probably go out and get yourself a masher at third base that can mash righties and lefties, maybe, or go get yourself a second baseman that can play a little better than Phil Goslin. Hey, can you go to uh, left field for me real quick? Absolutely. Uh, can you go to Peter O'Brien? I know he's only twenty-five. Uh, he's only a C. Uh, he Doesn't does have catch, he does have catcher uh, secondary position. Gotcha. Need to throw something back there. Yep. Or so you or, have an emergency. Or he's one he's one of those guys that uh, if you only want to carry uh, Wellington, then you have Peter O'Brien who can back him up if necessary. Yep. And he, as Healy says in the chat, Greg is huge in this. Um, he's thirty two. His contract is forever. And it's also going to be hard to deal him to a team without taking on some contract. It is. So maybe you that's, find someone that's going to run out their contract in a year. Yeah, and that's absolutely, when I do all my trades, um, when I do the suggest trades for this guy, Granky gets, if you do for prospects, you get no deals back, because all the other teams are going to want you to take money. You have to do something for either all or MLB ready guys. So, you are going to have to take some contract back, possibly maybe somebody take maybe a couple of years less than granky has got. Uh, there's no reason to hold on to Granky past two years unless you're World Series bound both years. Yeah, that's that's so, too much money right there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the other guy that I would say to trade to look to trade that first year is Tyler Clippard and Brad Ziegler. Both guys making more money than they probably should. Yeah, both old probably aren't going to. Yeah, Clip, Clippard's got six point one million. Um, even at thirty one, it's a good reliever, but. As I said, you have guys that can step into the role for you. So, mm-hmm. uh, moving on. Any any final comments on that one? Or I like their jerseys. I like their stadium. Their team needs some work. Uh, one thing we want to talk about definitely is sponsorships. Just real quick. Oh, I didn't see uh, Goldie's. Goldie's good. He's locked up for a while. Yeah, Goldie's good for a while. Uh, let's see here. Decently priced, if I'm not out of my mind, right? No, five point uh, right around six million for about four years. Yeah, that's a um, lot better than twenty seven million. So yeah, and well bar- huh? and is no arbitration. Like you're not fighting him on arbitration money. That's the one thing you always got to remember. You got a guy with arbitration coming up. If he's an eighty five overall, they're gonna give him a raise. It's gonna happen, especially if he performs. Um, I've found that arbitration doesn't have that much to do with the rating, but if you have a high rating, you perform. The better you perform, the more money the court gives you. Um, it's very the game's very good about doing that. So, moving on to the next dumpster fire, <laughs> the, the first of two. So the Colorado Rockies, you have 127 million dollar payroll, 117 of it's already been taken up. You go to your future budget, and who do you see? First, yeah, uh, th- this roster came out like a week too early. There is a version four up, but we're going to keep this version because I, I per- personally like this version a lot. That's um, what I don't we've like been having... working with, so let's not change yeah, things. Keep it even. Yeah. So the first thing you're going to do in spring training is trade Jose Her- uh, Jose Reyes for literally anything, anything um, to get that 17 million off the books. Um, not so much for the first year, but for the second year, you definitely want to. And you've already got Trevor Story plus your first. Um, overall top prospect in all of baseball is a shortstop. Mm-hmm. And we'll talk about that, how you're going to deal with that in story um, soon. Does story have a secondary position? I mean, we'll get there. He does. That's, that's, that's one of the nice things that we're going to talk about is that 
So Trevor Story is a 79 overall. Look at all those renewable years. I love it. Um, 550K, he's 23. His secondary position is second base. That's where he's going. Yep. Well, that's what I'm saying is because the number one overall prospect who will show you in the managed roster screen is a shortstop slash third baseman. You're not moving Arenado. You have Arenado under control through 2019. So, but again, remember Arenado is 1.8 million. That number is going to go up in arbitration. So always remember your arbitration guys when you're when you're planning out your um, off season. So your second season, you're looking at 48 million um, on these guys alone. Again, you're probably going to get rid of call, yeah. uh, calls and Mott. You got to get rid of Cargo because you're not going to be able to afford them. Yeah, um, I would say if you're I mean, not, you do have it, a lot of. Free, you're going to have a lot of free money, but yeah, I don't know if you're going to afford them because you're going to have a lot of other positions to fill up. Well, and let me put it this way: Cargo is going to be 32 by the time that contract comes up. You're going to have to pay him for a five-year deal. Someone is going to give him a five-year deal. Talking from experience, um, we do the Rockies franchise and Operation Sports Twitch. Let me tell you what I did. We traded Cargo for an A prospect and Jesse Hahn and Josh Reddick from the A's. Mm -hmm. Josh Reddick mashes righties, can play the same way Cargo does, give you the same defense, a little bit less, you know, the vision contact versus lefties. That's fine. And then... We signed Jose Altuve in 2018 nice. because of the money we saved. Nice. So, Though Cargo does rake in this game. Cargo absolutely rakes in this game. Just saying. Also a nope. great pickup in Diamond Dynasty. Your arbitration guys for your second year are Aaron Otto, McGee, Blackman, and Lyles. That's going to make up about $10 million, not including the boost that Aaron Otto is going to get. Uh, let's look at what you have in the minors really quickly. As I stated, you have Brendan Rodgers, number one overall top prospect. He's a 60 already. He will be game ready for you by 2017. Yeah, he's only 19. Yeah. Yep, only 19. That's, I mean, can you imagine? Look at all those renewable years. Well, I mean, they start to go down once you once you bring him to the majors. Just so you know, the way this screen works, he'll say renewable as long as he's in the minors. When he gets service time, um, as soon as he starts getting MLB service time, that will change. So, um. Trade bait, uh, other prospects you have is you have a starting pitcher by the name of, let's see if I can find him real quick. Well, if you got a bunch of them, you got Nikorak is a good one. Um, Pint is a good one. you got a center fielder by the name of David Dahl, who I will show real quick, who will probably end up playing left field for you once the Ryan Braun experiment, or not Ryan Braun, um, Ryan Rayburn experiment's over. And the thing, um, with, the thing with this team, if you're going to play a lot of games... They have guys with tons of contact. Yes, absolutely. It's like if you're going to be playing a lot of games and you can hit decently well, they have so much contact that you're going to be ripping balls left and right. And you've got a great platoon in left field with Para and Rayburn already. Um, again, Brendan Rodgers, you have ready to go by the second year. If I'm going to trade... If I'm going to trade Reyes away, I'm going to try to get some kind of pitching because you'll never have enough pitching with this franchise. Mm. Um, and this Ben Paulson plays so much better than the 67 he is. Yeah. Um, pretty even across the board. So, yep. Uh, they're going to be a little bit of a problem to rebuild, but they're, they're kind of in the Mariners aspect where they could win, but yeah. there's so much good talent in that division right now. Yeah, that's that's... Those are might be the hardest ones to do where it's like they could go either way. Like if it's a complete rebuild, you can you feel like you can get there quick. And if it's a team that's already contending, you feel like you can win quick. Right. But if it's like in the middle and you just don't know what you want to do, it gets it gets tough. I mean, I would absolutely just keep an eye on the standings. If it comes to the trade deadline and you're any more than five games back in a division that has like the Dodgers or the Rangers or something like that, I would absolutely just... I'd be like, you know what? I, I gotta sell. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's the roster? NT2K? Thing? Yeah. Just, oh, sorry, NT2K. The roster is called OSFM Draft Roster. Um, the user is Ryden down with no O Kingsley. That's the 25-man version. And there is a 40-man um, version out by a user named Steve... Marshall with no A, two. <laughs> so, there you go. Um, 
the next up will be the Dodgers, who I will say are the best team in the game to start a franchise with if you want to win now and win later. Um, so they're going to be. You're going to notice a lot of this is going to be very close to what the Rangers had from our last uh, uh, from our last show. So they have a two hundred and seventeen million dollar budget to work with, of which two hundred six million is already up. If you look now, a lot of that's going to Clayton Kershaw and Adrian Gonzalez and Andre Ethier and Scott Casimir, all in large money deals. Kershaw, obviously, you want to hold on to. Gonzalez, you might want to look at trading. Um, $22 million is going to be a lot for someone that's 33 and not getting any better. Yeah, once, once you start seeing him go down, I'd dump him quick. Yep. Um, Same with Ethier. I mean, yeah, you, Ethier. You, I would almost say if you can just get rid of Ethier, just do it because they have so many outfielders. Right. Uh, again, you're not going to get too much back for him because he's making $17 million. But you you might get a team that will give you a couple of prospects for him, um, a couple of Bs. Casimir is one of the guys you might want to hold on to the first year and then try to trade him maybe in the offseason um, because that starting staff is one that you're going to want to keep together. With. Yeah, it's funny. The Dodgers are a very interesting thing because, like, the last few years, they've come into, in real life, they've come into spring training with, like, nine starters. And somehow they leave, they leave spring training with, like, three and a half starters. So now they just have, like, a ton of arms. Yeah. Well, and you can see, uh, let's, let's go into the actual roster screen here. I'm going to sort by first um, potential, but then I'll sort by overall. Look at that. I mean, that's amazing. They're starting pitchers. They have five A potential guys under 28. That's pretty good. Uh, I mean, and it doesn't stop there. They've got uh, Urias, who just got shut down in real life, Zach Lee, Kent Ameda, Jose De Leon, Grant Holmes, Casimir, Rue. I mean, Casimir obviously isn't going to get much better from there, but Alex Wood, Ross Stripling, Frankie Montes. I mean, look at how far those Bs go. Even Brett Anderson. Brett Anderson's going to be very serviceable, very serviceable for you, probably as your four or five starter. He's a good lefty. And all of these guys, they come up in waves. Because yeah. if you sort by overall, their starting rotation, you could pick any one of these guys uh, on this first page. Yeah. And and literally just plug them in. Just um, bury so Urias for another two years. And exactly. It'll be huge. So there's going to be a there's going to be a lot of trade possibilities here. Again, I would hold on to Casimir just for value until the off season. You could trade Rue away, honestly. You could trade McCarthy away. I mean, all these guys can get you stuff back. But the problem is, is that you you have an embarrassment of riches here. Um, your bullpen is stacked. You've got Yimi Garcia, Garcia, Pedro Baez, Chris Hatcher, Hal Fiend. I mean, just tons of guys and then you've got a guy like Yasiel Sierra who's just waiting Adam Liberatore another guy just waiting in the bullpen so and obviously you've got Kenley Jansen so you know that coming in and you have a serviceable um, backup in case Jansen goes down how long is uh, Jansen under contract for Jansen's at 10.6 million for uh, he's a free agent after this year yeah I would almost say try to lock him up. Well, I don't know but you could probably in your in your trades, you can get someone that's cheaper that'll do the same. But I mean, Jansen. Yeah. I mean, in real life, Jansen's one of the best closers. So would yeah. it be bad to have him? Well, in 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 the game, he's one of the best closers too. Um, and you're gonna have the money because you don't need to spend it on anybody. So um, moving on to the catchers, obviously you've got Yasmani Grandal who matches righties as we've talked about before. Um, but you have guys like AJ Ellis and Austin Barnes who are still going to help you, both decent defensively. Um, and a Kyle Farmer, who is a 64 at 25, but he's a high seat potential, so he'll still get into the 70s. Catcher could be a position of upgrade for the Dodgers at some point. Um, we talked about Adrian Gonzalez, who still a great hitter, terrible speed. He's going to make a real great DH somewhere. Yep. It's because they, it won't be on your team because $22 million, you don't need that. So the other thing is you have Scott Van Slyke, who's a left fielder by trade, but has first base as his secondary. 
So you can put Scott Vance, which they're doing in real life. You can put Scott Vance like there. Um, second base, another guy. I mean, you might be able to go with uh, Kiki Hernandez there over Chase Utley. I think Utley is not. I think Utley's done after this year, I too. Think he's done yeah. After this year. yeah. Yeah. So not worried about Utley too much. He'll be good for you starting. Um, Kendrick and Turner, both as he's a third baseman in this roster, could also play Kendrick at second. Justin Turner is an absolute beast in this game. So that's where Rob Sagan is. Oh, Rob Sagan uh, of the of the oh, old Japan Golden Knights fame. Ah, there nice. you go. So Corey Seager been talked about. Beast. You've got Seager. What's his Who What's his contract look like? Probably uh, extremely good, right? Yeah, no, you're really good. One point two yeah. million plus. You got two years of renewable, which is eighty percent or above, um, and then three years of arbitration. He's not going anywhere. You've got him for a while. Which is cool because you've got another shortstop that could possibly play second base coming up behind him, an 18-year-old named Gavin Lux. In left field, kind of okay. Trace Thompson, Scott Van Slyke out there. I think Thompson's your starter, and like I said, Van Slyke mm-hmm. might go to first base. And Thompson kind of rakes in this game. Yeah, Thompson absolutely rakes in this game. Look at the contact and power versus lefties. Decent defensively. Your Scott Van Slyke, same thing. Um, so they're not really good platoon together. Again, first base is probably where you want to go with him. Jack Peterson is going to be your center fielder for a while um, with a kid by the name of Diaz they just drafted that's going to be coming through. And then, obviously, the man, the myth, the legend, Yasiel Puig in right field, and the guy you're probably going to have to trade the first year, Andre Ethier. So, um, again, trade bait is probably, for this team, going to be... Casimir and Gonzalez, obviously you want to get rid of Ethier, but you're not going to get much for him. Um, in the chat, real quick, Green Bulldogs, is there a reason why this roster doesn't have any speed upgrades, downgrades from the beginning of the season or any position changes? These have been in roster updates before the roster came out. This is actually, so any new SCEA guys have been updated in this roster, but all of the prospects are created handmade by other users, so... Um, that's one of the reasons why you're seeing a lot of that. Your favorite team, TJ, the San Diego Padres. Love them. They rake. Look at all that money you get to spend. Yeah, tell me about it. 120 million budget, 110 million of that being spent. Um, almost all of it on camp. <laughs> Matt Kemp. Yeah, not bad. He's not a bad guy. Like he can He's play. good. I like him. He and that, be- that, that money be potential's good. The money's not good. That money hurts you. Yeah, Melvin um, Jr. What up? <laughs> Melvin Upton making fourteen and a half million. Just just um, looking for a platoon is Melvin Upton Jr. right now. I mean, sort this by age. Look at how many thirty plus guys they have. But I mean, on this roster, making that's money. their plan right now is to get a bunch of crap out of here and then get young, get fresh talent. On. Yeah. So, but, that, wait, how old is, is Daniel McCutcheon? He's 33. Uh, 33, wow. Yep. So the good news is in 2017, you pretty much lose everybody. Money-wise, you're down to 33 million, which will give you probably in rounds of 70 million to play with after doing arbitration and renewals. So this is a team that if you want some money to rebuild with, you'll probably get it. Um, I would trade Upton if you can. I would trade Upton before the season even starts. Look at the roster real quick to see what you have behind that. The good news is you got that Bryce Harper money. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> if you can drag Bryce Harper out to California hey man, for that. Tell him all the surfing he wants. <laughs> that should be a morale, surfing. Jabari Blash um, might be my favorite name. Yeah. So, I mean, they've got some talent. Uh, everyone knows about Margot. Uh, he's going to be probably 2017 ready for you. That's why I said get rid of uh, Upton Jr. Don't yeah, at ignore least get these two A's. No, yeah, go ahead. No, yeah, get get something for Upton Jr. Don't just let him walk away. Right. Because um, you, we'll, pl- you have places where you can use something. Right. Yeah, Crash is right. Crash Davis in the chat. Harper's from Vegas, and I think they have him as Nevada in the game. So you'd get that close to home if that's something he worries about in game. It might only cost you $40 mil a year, but... Yeah, right. Uh, that's twenty. You're looking at 2018 when Machado and Harper. I, there have been times in 2018 he hasn't left Washington, though. They haven't let him get out of those five days, so... 
Jabari Blash, uh, Tyson Ross is an amazing pitcher for you that's only going to get better. He's locked up for another year after this. And Garvis Solarte can play both third and second and all over for you and is a good contact vision guy. Jenikowski's a speed demon who's got some contact, so you definitely want to hold on to him. Great kick rating. <laughs> Brother Sebastian? No, um, so Eric Lauer, another, you know, you have the prospects here. There's, to do there's a lot work. of Bs. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's fine, though, because you can do a lot with B prospects in this game. A prospects in this game are few and far between, except for those that have the rich, like the Dodgers, have a ton of them. But for the most part, you don't see a lot of those A prospects. So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you have and when it when it comes down to the position breakdown. I mean, look at this. Pomerantz is already an eighty five. Cantrell is going to be pretty good. Um, Cantrell and Var Vargas are probably going to be in your team by twenty seventeen. You know, you have those abilities. Um, your bullpen's pretty good. Bullpen you never want to really like grow with though. You just kind of buy the arms. You're going to have to replace Rodney at some point. Um, probably after the first year. So he's probably going to retire. Derek Norris, Austin Hedges are a great um, a great backstop combination. With Also, Christian Betancourt, don't sleep on him with his defense. So either Hedges or Betancourt is going to pan out for you. The other one you could just trade away. Derek Norris is going to be a great lefty master for you behind the plate. We talked about the the god Will Myers at first base for you. Um, against lefties, I would actually this Brett Wallace looks a lot better than the other Brett Wallace. <laughs> I, I want this is my dynasty Brett Wallace uh, with his contact ratings versus righties. You might want when you face a lefty or a righty, you might want to platoon Will Myers out to the outfield. Spangenberg, another great one with Javi Ger or Javier Guerrero, uh, not far behind. So again, with the with the Padres, what you're kind of looking for is Alexi Amarista sitting there ready to go, I think, for you. With Rudy Guerron and Hudson Sanchez, you're looking for probably three years down the road to really get into it. So... You got Bryce Harper and these guys, and you're golden. Yep, Bryce Harper and Matt Kemp playing left field for you with his slow self, and then, yeah. So, San Diego, you're probably three years away. I would start trading as early as you can. Uh, Upton Jr., maybe even Kemp away, and then start growing your younger guys and draft. I, I mean, Kemp's real good, but that price tag's just too high. Right. Well, I'm with you. If it was like five years ago, Kemp, I'm in. But it's now Kemp, and I'm out. Right. Who's left? And then, last, last but not least, the San Francisco Giants, um, who are going to be battling the Dodgers for years to come, because look at that budget. $210 million to work with. You're at two hundred million for your current salary. We all know that. They <laughs> Look at those contracts. Uh, there's a ton of them. Uh, but you know what? They got guys locked up for a long time. Which yes, is they do. Some, which is it nice in some situations, like like the Posey, like the Bell, like the Crawford, like the Bumgarner. Look, Bumgarner, yep. you're paying ten million in three years. That's pretty good. Four years. That's um, that's real good. Yep, Crawford, one of the best shortstops in the game. So you definitely look at that. That money is, is going to be a uh, steal for him because he's still going to grow from that 92. Belt's going to grow from that 87. Samarja, you're paying a little bit more for, but, I mean, you you pay for the talent now to try to win now. Hunter Pence is an absolute beast in right field. So uh, I'm worried that a lot of their guys, like the top four here, are all 30, and these guys have a six-year and a five-year deal. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, not – not loving the Kane contract because he's really come down to last year or two. Yep. Try to get rid of Kane if you can. Um, I mean, Cueto's going to be good for a couple of years, obviously. Well, how, what's, how long is the contract for? Uh, six. So until he's 36. Yeah. He's got an A potential, which is going to fight some of that regression. Mm -hmm. But once I think once you start seeing him drop, probably 2018, maybe that's when you try to move him. Yeah. I mean, even then, like I said, his A potential, potentials fight regression as well, um, along with performance. So you might not actually see Cueto go down until he's like 35. Yeah, so. then you get lucky. Yep. But this team, um, is, this team is essentially built that you could win the World Series essentially the next three straight years. Every even year, <laughs> possibly. Um, so just looking through what they have in the minors. 
no A's in the minors, obviously, but you've got you've got Posey and Bumgartner, uh, Crawford, Cueto. There's a guy named Chris Stratton who's going to be good in about two years. Casilla in the bullpen you're going to have to replace at some point. PV is obviously not going to last much longer. Joe Panic, Diamond Dynasty extraordinaire budget player, is yes. second base for life. Yeah, absolutely. They do have a couple guys. Arroyo, um, we'll go through positionally. I mean, they, they do have a lot of Bs coming up in that starting pitcher. So that's what I'm saying. You know, you might look for a guy like a PV to trade away, maybe a Samarj in a year or two to trade away. But again, with the money they're making, you're probably not going to get a ton for them. Yeah, I think I think the main thing with this team is you're going to have to rebuild the bullpen because I think Strickland's really going to be your only option in like a year or two. Yep. Strickland is renewable for two more years and arbitration eligible well into his 30s. You're going to have him under contract, so you're absolutely right on that. Romo's probably going to have to get rid of. Alex Torres is going to stick with you for a while, but again, Javier Lopez is getting old. Contos, you're probably not going to be able to resign. So guys like that, you have a bunch of 60s guys that aren't going to really progress. So, um, And as I said, Casilla's going to have to go. So... But, but, and but it's okay because you have a lot of positions that are already locked up. Yes. Your catcher's you have locked up. Your second baseman's locked up. Your first baseman's locked up. Yep. So um, you can even go sure move stuff. the old stuff, the other pieces there to get more bullpen out. Um, third baseman. You have your third baseman, Matt Duffy, for at least four more years. Yeah. So, yeah, all of your position players you're good with because Jarrett Parker is going to slot in for for Angel Pagan. Angel, Angel Pagan. Um, soon. Yeah. So, Gorgas Hernandez probably not going to be the prospect you want, even though he's a B. Span is probably going to be gone after a year or two because of his age. Pence is going to stick for a while. Again, that B potential is going to fight, and he's already pretty high. But again, you don't have a lot of guys in the minors for outfield. So, maybe trade some of that starting, get a couple pieces for your outfield. Um, and maybe like a, I think Arroyo plays second. Yeah, Arroyo plays second. So, you've got some backups. Lucius Fox. Yeah, you know, like that. Somebody, I like that too. Who's is that real? Uh, I'm gonna. I'm guessing that's real. There was Find something it. where like two people were drafted that had Batman names this year. So, uh, this was definitely one of the draft picks because he's in single A. So, uh, Healy's absolutely right. Kane might be a sell now. I think. So. But that is the NL West, good sir. That's the top international prospect, Lucius Fox. There you go. Uh, yeah. Apparently, he knows how to build a utility belt. Yeah, Giants win the World Series. Obviously, that's your contract goal as your GM there. If you build out that bullpen, you're going to be good for another two or three years. And if you can build out some outfield, you're going to be good for another four or five years. Yep. So, Giants are pretty stacked. And uh, just a heads up, you start as average for – you see this under the where you were just talking about the GM goals? Mm -hmm. You start as average for job security – Always take into account what they're looking for. The, the, the Dodgers want you to reach the postseason and win the league pennant. The, the Rockies, you don't have to do that. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Do we want to do the power rankings? Yeah, sure. Uh, go ahead. You can go. What's your five? Mm, just because of the... Uh, you know, this is a very even... I feel like this is a very even division. I agree. Uh... That's tough. I think four five is pretty much even. Three is set, and then two one is even. I want to say, if you're trying to win soon, I'm going to go Padres five, Rockies four. Okay. What are your thoughts on that? I would say win winning winning now is. I agree. I think Padres five. Oh man, I want to put the Diamondbacks at four so uh, that, bad. The Diamondbacks are my three. Uh, that's same with me. But if you're trying to win now and you keep Grinky, you've got a shot. But you could also re sell Grinky, rebuild, and you'll have a shot in a couple of years, like two to three years down the road. Right. That's why I have but if you, three. But if you're trying to win now, think of the talent on that Rockies team. I mean, the the offense in that park. You don't have the pitching that that, that Arizona has, though. Yeah, I think Arizona's so. got the pitching. That. Yep. I'm gonna give then the you're right. Three. Padres five, Rockies four, Diamondbacks three. 
I, yeah. I it's a toss up. I'm gonna go to Dodgers two, Giants one. But I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Giants one or Giants two, Dodgers one. Yeah, just to be it's literally one contrary. A and one B. I think. But, right. Uh, I like the Dodgers have a lot of prospects, but they also have very good pro players. Uh, so if you make your run now, you can restock for years two, three, four, five. Right. Giants, as we said, you've got your your whole infield. Don't have to worry about it for half a decade. Right. Essentially. With uh, Posey, Belt, Panic, Crawford, and Duffy, you're set there. Your and your starting is, rotation is great. Your rotation is good. Your outfield's good. You're going to need a bullpen, and you're going to need some backups. Other than that, that Giants team's pretty stacked. Yeah. So I, the, I think you could, you could flip-flop the Dodgers and Giants. I think this is going to be one of the most fun divisions to play franchise with if you're playing as the Dodgers or the Giants, just because of how close the standings are going to be. Yeah. Uh, just real quick in the chat, Bobo says, does player potential grade mean anything? Yes, it does. Um, in Road it's in of the Show, too, but in franchise, it is the the value that you can get up to as an overall rating. So if you're like an 80 and you have a 95 potential you have that ability to go up to there. The problem is, is the performance has to be there as well. Yeah. All right. So that's going to do it for our uh, main topic tonight. Uh, been a lot of fun tonight talking about the band hammer going out, uh, the roster updates with the, the biggest roster update of the year uh, and going through the NL West again, Dodgers and giants, two of the best in the division, two of the best in the game. Uh, so if you want to, if you want to win now, be one of those teams and you can also win in the next couple of years. Uh, we're going to kick it over to some battle Royale gameplay. Uh, as soon as millennium kicks me out of this party battle Royale with cheese and guys, just a heads up. If you have any questions regarding franchise, anything like that, don't, don't hesitate to, uh, tweet at, TJRI, that sports gamer, or Millennium OS on Twitter. I love answering franchise questions. It's th this is my game mode. I love franchise, so definitely hit me up with trade suggestions, anything, any questions you might have on how to build a team. Hit me up. I'd be glad to answer it for you in depth if you'd like. Uh, and don't forget Sundays twelve thirty. Sundays at one o'clock. We do a. Rockies franchise where it is just SCA rosters. We didn't use OS rosters where I let the chat room make the moves and we're doing pretty well. We're May of 2018 right now, I believe. How's that going for you? Uh, we, we were terrible the first two years. Uh, and then after that, we have, a, we have a roster. We really think can make the playoffs and we better make the playoffs because our contract ends and we're at low job security. It's not good. So we're, we're going to get a can. It's not good. Uh, I am 248 innings away from the Rays. I love that Zerbers card, by the way. So they're my next, they're my next target. Pomahawk in the chat. This is a question I get asked all the time. How many games do you play in a season for franchise? I do the move where I play one and sim five. That way you get to use your entire rotation but you still get to move your franchise on at a timely basis. Ooh. Healy had rebuilt the Twins and had Hosmer and Conforto retire from injuries. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> the injury retirement is, like, the most painful thing in this game to see. All right, so let's get into some Battle Royale tonight. Uh, starting rotation, Joe Kelly, Tommy Malone, Irvin Santana, Andrew Albers, and Edinson Volquez. I think it's a pretty decent rotation. Uh, obviously, I did not build for a rotation, but I think I ended up with a pretty decent one. Uh, yeah, it's not bad, especially the Volquez. I like the Volquez a lot. You know what? I like Santana. Uh, a lot of people aren't going to agree with me on this. I love Santana's pitch mix. Um, I got him in my Orioles franchise as well. I, I love the motion he gets on his pitches. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I also have... Uh, I also like, I like the Joe Kelly. He's got a sinker, a couple, couple fastballs, change up in a curve. He's the one I won the first game with uh, in this. Bullpens, uh, kind of trash. Uh, Jared Hughes, Matt Albers, Chase Shreven, Pat Light. He's never going to get into a game for me. Uh, Boone Logan, uh, flashback Mark Melanson, and Fernando Rodney. 
not the best, but hopefully this offense makes that bullpen unnecessary. Uh, we have Marcelo Zuna in center, Ian Desmond at short, flashback Joey Votto at first, flashback Ryan Braun in left, flashback David Freeze at third, uh, Jason Worth in right, Deonor Navarro behind the dish, and flashback Michael Viles at second. A lot of flashbacks. A lot of flashbacks. I'm absolutely okay with that. Uh, bench is kind of whack. Rajai Davis, Gregor Blanco, Max Kepler, Marwin Gonzalez, and Johnny Giovatella. No backup catcher. So, uh, Deanna Navarro is stuck. But he's not, he doesn't have terrible contact versus righties. So he's, he's going to play. Only thing I don't like, I may have drafted too many right handed hitters. Uh, my personal preference is left handed hitters. Uh, we're just going to hop into this, see what we can do. Can we get to 20? Maybe not. Should we go to Griffith Stadium? Probably not. I'm I'm hoping, you know what I'm seeing here? I'm seeing this. You're going to win the first game, and that cargo rookie is coming up as your sixth game. I, I really don't think that's going to happen. It's, uh, it's absolutely going to happen. Uh, pick a stadium. Minus, uh, minus a random what? classic. You know, minor, minor league fields. Go to uh, the minor league fields. I'm there. Um, go all the way down towards the bottom. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's one, it's called Bay Park. I want to see you in Bay Park. Bayfront Park? That's the one. With the, uh, mm-hmm. I got a roller coaster and a Ferris wheel. That's what I like to see. This does actually kind of look a lot like, uh, the Staten Island Yankees field. And apparently they're building the world's largest Ferris wheel out there. Nice. I, that, I love this. I love this field for some reason. You're going to hate me because I, I ranted against you so hard earlier in this year. I love the minor league stadiums now. Thank you. I finally. love every one of them. Yep. Love uh, them. Can I get a time of day and year? <laughs> On June 27th, 2016, at 1130 p.m., Millennium uh, admits his love for the minor league stadiums. Uh, well, for that, I'm going to go with June, but 11 a.m. Clear skies. Full hearts. Can't lose. Is that any <laughs> oh, yes. Guess what? Oh. Never seen that show. I think that's close to what the line is. It's pretty close, I guess. What's it? Full something? Uh, clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose, I think. Great. What time My it? screen just came up. My screen just came up with a Milwaukee and Dodgers exhibition game, like, in the autoplay. And I looked at it and go, what are you doing? Why are we in a Major League Stadium? And I looked up and went, oh, wait, I'm looking at the wrong screen. Best part about this? This team is built to mash lefties. Little known fact. You know why? <laughs> I feel like everybody's drafting lefties now. Guess what? Uh, that's the move, I think. This dude's about to get bopped. What do you know about Marcelo Zuna? He crushes left-handed pitchers. This whole lineup crushes left-handers. Uh, CB, do me a favor. I know you're in the chat, CB5. Do me a favor. Uh, whisper, whisper me your YouTube channel. Huge fan of CB4. CB4. No, with CB5. There's nobody on that roller coaster. This whole thing's a sham. <laughs> I'm playing against the Taiwan Bomb Squad with their uh, pink and green jerseys. Sweet. I'm home rocking my uh, – he's College World. I'm rocking my dope Coastal Carolina jerseys. Oh. Dude, I love the Coastal Carolina jerseys. We got Joe Kelly on the mound. With the glasses. I'm going to tell you guys right now. Um, so CB5 is one of the top – oh, my God. There's pink and green jerseys. Wow. Um if he's in there, See, you just click on his name. Uh, it's, the link is on his page. Right, right. That's his... Oh, is it? Okay, cool. Uh, I believe he's got the YouTube link in there. Probably. That could be completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's there. Look at these fire jerseys I made. I do. They you remind me of, like, the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars, too. You know, that's what I... I noticed that when I was making them. And then at some point, someone's like, oh, is that the Mariners green? I was like, you know, it would have been a lot easier if I just used the Mariners green. <laughs> and I just handpicked this random green color, or this turquoise. All right, one down. See, when you got the sinker, I like to just remind them that I can throw up and in heat. He's probably going to hit a home run and make me look like a fool, but. Yeah, so guys, the link I just threw up in the chat uh, is Carter Bird's YouTube page. Uh, one of the top show gamers there is. I want to say he's like top five right now. Am I crazy? He's easily top five. Uh, I think mostly the reason that he is not top two is because. He doesn't get to play as much as a lot of those other guys. If you look at like games played, I think he's behind in terms of games played, which I mean, real life gets in the way. You do what you got to do, but uh, 
absolutely shares his knowledge on YouTube with tips. So another guy in the community, again, that I like to, uh, you know me, I'm, I'm, I'm a shill. I love putting out good content and sharing it. That's one of the best right there. So go subscribe to his YouTube page if you don't already. All right. So fast guy on first. We got to work him with with throwovers and mixing up the pitch counts, and then hope he just runs to second base for no apparent reason, and just throw him out of second. That worked out well for me. Yeah. Uh, slide step is good. By the way, don't forget to throw over. Oh, never mind. I'm, I'm seeing, but throwing over affects jumps as well. Um, if you are do if they're doing the auto jump. Yeah, uh, I was. Uh, was it the, if you go to my uh, my YouTube channel, youtubecom slash gamer, go check that out. Link in the chat. Uh, I had a comeback video like from two nights ago, I think, or maybe last night. Yep. The one highlight not in that video is when I threw out the guy's 99 speed catcher or 99 speed created guy with uh, Jared Salt the monkey. Is there seven. anything better than throwing out those high speed guys that just you think are auto steals that were last year that aren't this year? No, that's that might be the greatest thing. I can't. And the funny thing is, I think it was I played a Kenny Lofton. Um, I'm trying to remember who my catcher was. It, I think it was just a. Oh, you know who it was? <laughs> it was Austin Hedges. I I got into a battle royale game uh, draft where I got caught with a gold catch or a bronze catcher that I couldn't get out of. And Austin Hedges is only like a 75 arm strength, and still threw out Kenny Lofton because I paid so much attention to him. It was so. It was so. Satisfying. Nice. This guy's already uh, changed his starting pitcher. It's funny. Last year, I forget who was stealing. Someone fast. Might have been Kenny Lofton. Uh, threw him out with a slide step from Phil Necro. Throwing a fastball. Nice. Ooh. Thought I was going to get all that one. What are your feelings on shoulder stripes on jerseys? Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? Like the pinstripes? No, 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 not like the pinstripes, like the... So you know how they have the stripes on the bottom of the sleeves? I'm talking about the shoulders, the shoulder stripes on the top of the sleeves on a solid colored jersey. You're talking like a, like a Pirates kind of thing? Kind of, yeah. Uh, or like a Rockies? More like a Rockies is what you're saying. More like the Rockies thing. You know how they have, like, so this whole sleeve is black, but don't they have like a another... They have like a stripe up there as well. They have well, like a gray, color. gray stripe. Right. Hmm... Uh, gonna say i don't love it i'm not gonna say I hate oh it. ball just throwing the ball around oh this guy's this guy's gonna quit i, feel, I smell a quitter coming uh jaco three four five six in the chat he's got twenty thousand stubs and needs a second baseman and a center fielder uh jaco do you mind telling me your current second baseman and center fielder wow <laughs> hopefully it's not the guy that's in center field for this team ah, drop it please just screwed up I I think Cano is a great investment. Um, Ugh, the fact that I got... First off, I'm going to say I'm upset at the fact that I got one run out of that. Uh, but the fact that I got any runs out of that when I played pretty terribly is okay, I guess. Cargo always terrifies me when I got a right-handed pitcher going against him. Yeah, he probably should. I like to I like to throw a lot of change ups to a cargo. Yeah, Jay Young's got a great um suggestion for Jaco. I love you me get, a Matt Carpenter. Jay Young is right. Yep. You get yourself a Matt Carpenter who is in primary second base right now. Uh you get yourself Jimmy Edmonds, who you can move to first base if you end up getting another center fielder at some point. And yeah, it's pretty good. I think Rosenthal's probably gonna get back up at some point. Oh, a good – oh, I love this. NT2K, what's going on, my man? A good catcher prospect in franchise. Good sir. Good oh, sir, let's talk. Killing me. Ugh. So I moved that Ryan Braun to left, and he just took a nasty shot to the head. Mm, oh, no. Uh, so one of the other underused features of franchise mode, if you are in the main screen, you go over to league, the league tab in the top right is acquisitions. You can go into there, the player search, um, and actually do searches like you do for diamond dynasty players. So, 
Um, you can actually search for based on any one of the stats. So right now I'm doing a search in franchise mode for primary position catcher, um, max age 25. Let's see here. Let's throw that potential rating up on that. Um, his max is a 99. His minimum is going to be, let's make it 85. Let's see what kind of search we're looking at. Um, so some of the guys that I'd tell you to look at, current Cubs catcher, Wilson Contreras. Uh, is a 59 overall, but an A potential. Also is a secondary of first base. Philadelphia Phillies, 22-year-old Jorge Alfaro, also first base, A potential, um, currently 60 overall. Gary Sanchez of the Yankees, who you might be able to get if they're winning. Um, they, he's one of their trade parts because of McCann. Big strikeout right there, folks. And let's see here couple other guys mike zanino of the mariners is a b i like christian him. vasquez christian vasquez mentioned in the chat by justin dixon or i'm sorry by leo arase arache is what i'm going to call him um vasquez is a good defensive catcher kevin plowecki of the mets you can go for uh austin hedges again mentioned in the chat tony walters which i think is gonna be a little harder to get from the rockies um, because of their catching situation with just having Hundley at 33. Chance Sisko, a great contact catcher for the Orioles. Zach Collins in the White Sox organization. That's really all I'd be comfortable. Maybe Matt Tice, who just got drafted from the Angels. Uh, that's as far as, that's as comfortable as I'm uh, uh, going to say in terms of overall to that. Uh, Cardinals collection should cost you less than twenty grand. Yes. I just okay. So this guy brought in uh, Brett Gardner to pinch hit, and he hit a ground ball off my pitcher to drive. Yeah, their their one gold should be Matt Carpenter. <laughs> yeah. I will. You know what I'm going to check right now. Tell me what site I'm going to check. DaddyLeagues.com slash DD slash sixteen slash missions. Guys, Link go in on the, the chat. Hard to before I got to it. <laughs> Drew Smiley in the game for my opponent. Is it the... Oh, it's the relief pitcher, Drew Smiley. My favorite. It's all right. I got Jay Worth, who's going to crush him. Uh, let's see. The current... Get down. Total yes. cost of the Cardinals collection is 18K. I already said this. Welcome... Welcome to the conversation. You said less than 20. I mean, it was... Hey, man. Actually, going to be less than 18 if you think about it. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's just the normal. That's the estimated cost. You'd probably get it for less if you are very much... Um... Got to be frugal. Yes. Like of the gourmet. Man, I'm looking at these collections I'm going to have to do to get this camp. <laughs> Not having a fun night. Oh, so if I do... If I get this camp, Damn I'm going to get... I'm going to get the Marishal... The Bumgartner and the Posey from the Giants. Some good players. Uh, I'm going to get... Well, I already did the Padres and the Diamondbacks. I'm going to get the Arenado and the Jimenez from the Rockies. That Jimenez is so sick, by the way. Uh, and Ooh. then I'm going to get, obviously, Kershaw, Jansen, and Hershiser from the Dodgers. Oh. Oh. Mike Aviles puts a charge into one. But it does it. Warning track power. Anyone? Cargo oh, them. Ichiro and Cespedes isn't the best other corner outfielder. Um, I'd say Cargo against righties, but then he's not going to hit lefties, so you're going to have to have another guy. Uh, All right, here's let me let me break down this little. Tr this I'm going to have to pinch it for Joe Kelly. Best contact versus lefty, Rajah Davis. Not going to hit with him because I want that speed if necessary later on. Going to go Marwin Gonzalez. Yeah, Marwin Gonzalez is the move. It's a tough choice. For Marwin Gonzalez to play. I do like Giovatelli. He's got a little more power prospect for that lefty, too. But Or, no, I'm sorry. Uh, higher contact. Oh, it's the right. Never mind. I had him mixed up with somebody else. The flashback Crawford is very good. His arm is terrible. Great leadoff guy. Yep. I'm going to work this guy. And I think He's going to walk me. I think the Rays collection is, is dirt cheap at this point, isn't it? Because Archer just got a... Yeah, he went down a bunch. Yeah, Rays, Rays collection you get for 23K. Yeah. Oh, another pop, up, pop, up. Drop it, drop it, fool, drop it. All right. 
I do like mm, corner outfielder. I'm trying to think about what kind of range you looking at ASAP, like uh, price range. Mm, 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 mm. What am I doing here? Chase Shreve can come in the game. I like Dexter Fowler. Good speed, good contacts, and power. Phil Goslin. Hmm. Oh, you know what? You know who you can put in there? Michael Brantley. Michael Brantley is beast. Certified beast. Michael Brantley could play for you. Um, although, I think the, Car the Crawford's going to cost you upwards of 20K, depending on who you have already. Um, Who's my shortstop? Ian Desmond, showing off the arm. In the only other person I could say is, you know, you can get Christian Yelich. Uh, you don't get the power. J.D. Martinez. J.D. Martinez could hit lefty. Oh, you know what? J.D. Martinez could be a great. Healy is good. That's great. Some were J.D. Martinez is the end. Hero. Yep. J.D. Martinez is the end of conversation. Love him. Uh, you know what? Can I continue the conversation? Sure. Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts is pretty good. What is it? What is his cost right now? Couple G's. Hmm. It's not a bad call. Oh, where are you going, son? This guy thought he was going to tag up from second. Contact versus lefties over 85. Let's look at this. Um, Adam Duvall. Oh, who are we talking about here? Ryan Braun. Braun's Beast. I mean, you get Braun for 9,000 stops. What's, depending on your range of what you're looking at, um, you could do Ryan Braun as a left fielder. Um, see, Cargo... You... And the nice thing about Betts, uh, yes, he does have a harm, horrible arm, but great hitter. Also gets you center field, second base, all sorts of extra eligibilities, and great speed. He said uh, his defense is lackluster. A ASAP, I love it when talk defense to me all night. Uh, let's see here. No, they're talking about right field, though. I know what he's, I know what he's talking about, Jay. So he has Ichiro and Cespedes, and he's thinking of another corner outfielder that has to have a good arm, but also plays well. Um, but can can go with cargo. Don't blow this, Asuna. Don't blow this. Feather it. Feather it. I mean, you could technically do if you if you're looking for budget, you could technically look at Ichiro, who has a 90 contact for his lefties. Um, and but you already have never mind. You already have the Ichiro, right? All right, listen up. We're going bottom three. One one. Yeah, you've already got the diamond Ichiro. If he brings in Chris uh, Sale, you know it's game over, folks. How attached are you to buying now? Um, you could buy. I would say, for the time being. Get yourself the Matt Kemp 82 flashback from the Dodgers 25-man collection. Look, can we stop? The answer is J.D. Martinez. Dude's got a case. I mean, now. it is. It is. The answer is J.D. Martinez. But... We're, just, we're just making up stuff now. The answer is J.D. Martinez. I'm just Martinez. making your... Next yeah, question. Yeah. Next question. And then build towards the Tony Gwynn and the San Diego collection. Listen, everybody has an Ichiro. Stop using the Ichiro. You're not cool because you have an Ichiro. I literally played seven straight teams with Ichiro. And you know what? I beat the majority of them. And you know what? The ones that, the only ones that beat me with Ichiro, were because of Millennium's dumb flare this crap controller thing. <laughs> Listen, the flare thing in the outfield is real, okay? Jeff Francoeur has a cannon. I need Jeff Francoeur. Oh, you're gonna keep talking about these Braves, thanks, Jayon. Let me get that Chipper Jones. All right, this guy's keeping lefty in against Marcelo Zuna. GG. Ball one. That true smiley is sweet. Bottom three. One, one. Ken Marcel Ozuna. Erasmo Ramirez into pitch. Ozuna still plays. Decent enough contact. I kind of want to bump. You said this is offset, Cam? This is offset. Hmm. I don't know why his guy just dove in center field. I hope he bounces one off his forehead, though. He does not. 
Yeah, I don't even have the Ichiro. But the 93, I didn't grind for him. I, I was grinding for other things. I grind. <laughs> they do that sometimes. When you get like, a pop up like that, you'll see him jump or something just to mess around. Mm, um, another pop out. Another pop out. Need a solid hit here. We got Joey Votto up. Do I power swing? That's a big PCI to power swing with. Wow, I didn't know that. CB5 says Ozuna's third in war for the NL. He's a beast. That's insane. He's I mean, he's having a beast year. Dude's got a left-handed shortstop. Shoot me. What? Who is it shortstop for him? I don't know. Some lefty shortstop. When did he post on Reddit, Larry? <sighs> Damn it. Uh, if you want to... If you want to send me the link, you're more than welcome to. I'll post it in chat. I'm going there now. Mark Melanson. I'm just going to keep throwing this guy change-ups. Uh, let's see this. Oh, there we go. I got it. No cutter for the flashback Melanson. Was it a post on Reddit or was it just a post? To the no, link? no, he posted two hours ago on Reddit. I'm trying to link it now. Oh, there it is. Copy link address into the chatter. So I'm going to read this while you're doing this. Okay, you ready for this? Um, so Victor posted on a, now it's going to be about three hours ago. So I'm going to guess right around 830. Folks, I've been, and this is in a thread on Reddit. This is not a new thread this is a thread called called banned and don't know why um where guys were talking about they didn't know why they were tweeting about it folks i've been running around the office all day here is the issue there was an exploit related to canceling transactions on the marketplace if someone took advantage of this exploit egregiously their id would have been flagged and banned flipping cards on the market is not an offense buying and quick selling is not an offense I, it had more process Wait, than... Speaking of that quick canceling. selling thing, a lot of people sell cards for less than 10 stubs, and apparently they don't realize that 10 stubs is a quick sell. Yeah. Um, this is this is the key line here. It had more process than just canceling an order. So this exploit was more than just being on two devices at once and canceling a spot. Or maybe it was the two devices, so that's that's the only thing he posted. I'm going to say I don't know. That is I mean it's pretty self explanatory. It's not anything new that um it's not anything new that we haven't heard before. It's just it, now we're saying that and it's he's saying specifically it was related to canceling transactions in the marketplace. Someone to, and this is another key thing for me. If someone took advantage of this exploit egregiously, that states to me that this isn't a one time thing. This is something that people did multiple times. Get up, get up. Ground rule double. Bottom four. Ground rule double to start the inning. Do I bunt? I'm not going to bunt. Trying to try to shoot at Oppo with uh, Jason Worth. Can you, you make it? No, no, that's that's it. I I, I think, um, I, I will say that I think that if people legitimately did not do this, I, I they, they will probably reverse some of the bans. Oh yeah. That being said, we're all on the internet, guys. Um, I know there are a lot of people that are sticking up for people. Who knows? No one knows in the in the privacy of your own home. Who knows? I, if if you knew you could get a million stubs and didn't think anyone was going to catch you, maybe you did it. So I don't know who's there, who's that center fielder is, but we're testing this arm. Uh, Cardinal Bird Five said in the chat. I've seen you say it on Twitter too. I, I'm not saying that you're wrong, and I'm not saying they're wrong. I'm just saying that this does not seem like something they just did willy-nilly. Every time they've talked to somebody on Twitter about it, it's been, we checked this information over and over. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. I agree. Uh, one thing I do say is that I think that if SCEA 
made a mistake on any of these guys, I think they'll be reinstated. Game. Gapper with Mike Aviles. Love uh, his contact. Ace, let's see here. Should I do the, Leo says, should I do the innings for the Brewers? Absolutely. That Prince Fielder is a beast. And I love the, uh, uh, the John Axford. Oh, yeah. The Axford is also a, good, a really, really good bullpen arm. ASAP. But the problem is, is how many people did they ban? I don't think... I, I agree. Um, well, I'll, I'll go to ASAP and then Cardinal Bird. ASAP says he thinks SDS had a sensitive algorithm. Maybe. Um, but it, they didn't ban that many people. I, I guarantee they didn't just ban people on the algorithm. So. Pick another stadium for me. Uh, I my need new, another my new reward is uh, Steve Ciszek. I don't mind C-Check. Not bad. Red Rocks. Do Red Rocks. You know, I love Capital Field. That's why I'm not giving Capital Field. Red Rocks. Is that a real option? Red Rocks Stadium. Yep. What? Pick a time. Give me a day. Uh, 1 p.m. Where? When? Uh, August. Augusto. Augusto. Clear skies, clean hearts. Can't win. Wait, what? <laughs> Uh, CB, I, I think you might be right. I, I do think that there may have been some people accidentally, quote unquote, accidentally banned. But I don't believe people that went on the Reddit and they were like, ASAP says a lot of people on Reddit were complaining about being banned. You're seeing a vocal minority. Um, apparently, it was less than 1%, 1% of people. So. Granted, I don't know. we don't know anything. Yeah, we don't know the, we don't know the numbers. We don't know anything like that. I would think. You know, I thought I saw that somewhere on Twitter that it was less than one percent of people the banned. Um, <laughs> USM and Rebel per, know personally and talk quite a bit. Yeah. Well, the problem is, and you know, Cardinal says that they're handling it kind of poor. The problem is, is that they can't they handle can't it in anything, public. Yeah. yeah, they're not going to be able to say anything in public. All of it's going to get fixed over email. So, yeah. They said, oh, they said they banned only 1% of the people that actually use the exploit. Well, let's ban the other 99%. <laughs> I'm out here grinding my ass off, not getting anything. No, no, CB5, I'm saying they banned one per less than 1% of all players, not the people that use a percentage. Band gate update. Not the, ex not the exploited people. I'm talking about the... Uh, Oh, they did, Larry. Wow. That's insane. I was not aware of that. Larry Hova says, Ramon says they banned people who were in the top percentage of the exploiters. Oh, okay. So what he's saying is people that use the exploit, for they lots. banned, yeah, for lots of money, not just for hey, once or Rob. twice. Joe Kelly again on the hill. Love it. I don't know. Like I said, I agree with Cardinal. I, I agree with you that people may have been accidentally banned. Um, but like I said, I think those people will be reinstated if they were. I also see that a couple people tweeted Ramon and Ramon came back with exact stats to him. So, uh, I mean, what he said one guy did it for over a million stubs. And then the guy came back and was going all over Twitter about Oh, well, I spent $900 on stubs. Well, it doesn't matter what you spent. <laughs> it matters what you did. So. Ugh, 3-1 count. All right, I need to pay attention to this game. Need this, yeah, pay attention. I'll worry about the, the band hammer stuff. <laughs> oh! I thought you walked that guy. Yeah. Yeah. It's. No, I, I think the real story here is that it is unfortunate that what's going on, Snake Sixteen Doctor, Snake Doctor in the house. Always give that man a follow. I think he's doing a home Snake Home Run Derby, right? We're doing a Home Run Derby. Uh, in you have to if you win a Home Run Derby during one of Snake's streams, you get entered into a massive Home Run der Derby the day of the Home Run Derby in July. It's kind of cool. So give him a follow so you can get involved in that. Uh, we were just saying, I, I think the real story here is not just the people that may not have been legitimately banned, but the fact that they had to ban people for this. I mean, I get it. It's an all gaming. It's an all sports gaming. 
It's unfortunate. So. Also, check with their little brothers to see if they did while they were behind their backs. <laughs> I've, I've heard that one in Madden. Oh, I didn't do it. Like, my little cousin came over and he, like, did something one day on my console when I wasn't paying attention. And then I got banned. It's like, I don't know how it happened. I can't tell you how many times on OS people have said, people have said to me, I didn't post that. It was my little brother. <laughs> I was like, well, I mean, guys, what do you want me to do? You can ban his little brother. I'm a, I, yeah, there you go. I banned your little brother. You just happen to get caught on that. No, I mean, it's, uh, like I said, I think the whole thing is, is unfortunate that the bannings had to happen in the first place. If it was, um, well, here now, now Snake is going to say this, and I'm going to argue this point right now. Snake says the lack of transparency is the worst part. They're not going to come on Twitter and talk about it publicly. That's that no company will ever. Your uh, EA won't do it. Two K won't do it. They won't talk about what the problem was. They will talk. Expl the people that earned the explanation, or not earned it, that deserve the explanation of the people that got banned. And if they email, they will get an explanation. Uh, they they answer those support site emails pretty regularly. I believe, and it's I know the they're pretty swamped. And I believe got the email is uh, the show at playstation .sony com. There you go. So, I don't think that. Like even us as community, uh, I, mean, I say community leaders, but the guys who are more prominent, I agree with that. Snake just said it. They owe the people who are banned an explanation. I agree with that. Um, but he's not going to, yeah, not on Twitter, on email. Nice throw, by the way, to right field. Yeah, but let it run. Yeah. I as agree. I say, you always you Twitter. have to score a run to win, right? So yes. And uh, I just got it back, so we're good. So Snake, I agree. Not on Twitter. It has to happen over email. This is the the bans just happened today. So I know some people talked about whoa. Um, I know some people talked about they're having email conversations back and forth with some of the with some of the devs already. Hopefully that gets worked out. And you but know, for the people, and you know, it's not going to yeah. earn you any brownie points with the devs is posting that email on Twitter. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Don't don't go on, if you get an email from a dev, don't post it on Twitter. There it's pri you know they're they're contacting you privately for a reason. Um, I'm playing like garbage with Joey Votto. Just an FYI. I noticed that. But, but like I said, hopefully the people that were incorrectly banned get get reinstated, and hopefully the, you know what. My big thing is if you were correctly banned, screw you. Yeah. I hope you spent five hundred dollars on the show and you can never pick up the online mode again. Jesus. Yeah, because all you're doing is making. If you did do it, all you're doing is making the market worse for everyone else. <laughs> Snake says we want Mutt Guru. <laughs> that guy. If you ever look back to that guy's mentions, oh my lord, I, could, uh, I feel so bad. Yeah. Well, you, I mean, you know, you you definitely know. Uh, being a community manager is not easy. He says, as he is the Out of the Park Baseball community manager, uh, if you guys haven't checked out Out of the Park Baseball 17 this year, uh, it is up on Steam and our website, ootpdevelopments.com, uh, on the summer sale for $19.99. Highly recommend it. I was, you go I was about to say, it's on sale, and Franchise Hockey Manager is on sale too, right? Franchise Hockey Manager is on sale for $4.99. Now listen to this. Combo price. If you add nineteen ninety nine and four ninety nine, what do you get? Twenty four ninety eight. If you go on Steam right now, it's like twenty two and change. Because I don't Steam know how that happened, but <laughs> hey, do it. It works. Larry Hova, Mutt Guru, is still employed and rightfully so. That guy does more work than you probably ever know. Uh, I'm gonna say he is. I want to say contracts might be coming up soon, so possibly, yeah. I noticed they did put out a lot of uh, new uh, positions opening up. But I think they also are expanding the Madden team. Captains are absolutely trash this week. Uh, Scrub, this is the worst week for captains I've seen. By far. Can we send a... Oh, you know what? Do I have a Steam link for that? 
Well, here's the I trick. know you have it. If you go to OTP Developments, uh, you can use the pro- and you, if you buy it through OTPDevelopments.com, uh, you can use the promo code TSG17 uh, for an extra 10% off, and that does come off the uh, off the sale price. Oh, really? Yeah. Only so... if you do it through the website, not through Steam. How much is it? How much more is it off? T- another 10%. Yeah, Garrett, uh, Cowbell, I mean, I get that, but Garrett Cole's been up there a couple times before. Is selling Bogarts and doing the Cardinals collection worth it if he has Pedroia at second? I like Pedroia at second a lot. Love Bogarts, though. Yeah, Bogarts is really good. Diamond and probably only going up. Well, the problem is, is that when you bought, when you do the Cardinals, if you're losing Bogarts at shortstop, well, Leo, who is your shortstop? Well, Snake. I mean, <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna completely defend Ramon because you know he has a tough job being like I said, community manager is not a bad job, not a, not an easy job, but um, he can't. You know, he can't talk about a level fifty update. He, he's not allowed to. I mean, that's just the way it's gonna be. Uh, uh, Machado's not going back to shortstop because unless JJ Hardy gets hurt. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Palm, I mean, Palmahawk with the. Yeah. Uh, Canadian translation of the price. 713 <laughs> for hockey manager. I'm a coming up clutch. Palm Hawk, good people. Uh, OG, as some would say. I mean, I'm going to... He says... So, Snake says, Guru isn't soft like somebody else. I'm, I'm going to guess he's referring to Ramon. S-A-W-F-T-T. Um, I don't... I think I hate them. <laughs> Enzo and Cass? Yeah. You don't hate Enzo and Cass. Uh, I'm assuming this is the rookie Anthony Rizzo. Where do uh, Faithful, Faithful Nate got caught for time, five seconds for caps, but he said he wishes they could talk about a level 50 update. They can't. Um, What's the level 50 update? If you if For the stores? For the captain stores. I mean, they've said that, you know, that there, there will be possibly stuff after level 30. They can't talk about it. I mean, Ramon obviously can't talk about it, so... They haven't announced anything. Uh, I mean, I I want to say don't get your hopes up. I could be wrong though. I think something's gonna come. I mean, we're we're not even halfway through the season yet. Yeah, we've also we were speci- I'm talking specifically regarding the captain stores. We we're also told like, oh, there's gonna be items that are only gonna be in the captain stores. We well, see, I think that that might be what we're getting. Uh, yeah, TSG17 is the coupon code at OOT Park, OOTP Developments. John Navarro, the high pop up. Uh, Diamond Miggy is in. Diamond Miggy is a no, thing. He, he means he, in the store. Oh, in the store? No, that's not going to happen. Come on. Pay um, attention. So, my thing with the captain store is I think my theory is like that we're going to be getting. Yes! <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm gonna get bombs off this dude. Uh, tell me, fifteen. Oh, so four point oh four percent of the online players is roughly fifteen hundred people. Kept this a secret since April. The legend glitch was spread like wildfire in a few hours. Oh no, no, CB. Just about the. So this is go, heading back to the, uh, to the talk about that. I, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Um. So they said so roughly fifteen hundred people were banned today? Damn. Maybe? I've only seen like twenty people say something, so I don't know. I, I really don't know, C B. No, you're you're right though. It's it's healthy to have conversation about it, but it's also on you have to understand that they can't talk about it publicly. Um it's all all the answers are gonna come via via email. So You know what I haven't seen today? One person come like, yo, I screwed up. I got busted. My bad. I, I haven't seen that. I don't think you're ever going to see that. Uh, Leo Array says, um, Bogarts was his shortstop. If he gets rid of him, he still has Seeger. Seeger's beast. Also, don't forget, I have I have confessed tonight that my hands are not clean. Uh, in Madden, <laughs> I did sell coins once. Just saying. <laughs> 
<laughs> keep talking about it. <laughs> I'm just 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 a reminder. CB5, I agree. Um, yeah, if if anyone was it was unjustly banned, I would absolutely hope that they be they, they were reinstated. Um, oh yeah, I hope they fix that uh, super quick. I think it's just no, a game ban, right? Not a console. They ban. no, it's a, it's a game ban. It's not a console ban. It's a game ban to sound, for the show. Um, no, no, they said they fixed it because people have said they've tried it since then and they can't do it. They just can't. You can't talk about glitches like that. Like there was a glitch that just is coming to light in FIFA about chemistry of informed players. It's coming to light now. Shady. EA's Pretty never shady. going to admit to that. EA will never admit to that. That's just not what they do. The worst thing they'll do is, you know, hey, we're really happy the community found this. We're sorry about this. So be it. We're going to go boost these guys retroactively. Ian Desmond yeah. doing work, son. Do work. I should probably warm so, up. Probably warm up closer, huh? Don't even need a closer because now we're out of... Uh, Yep, what's the point of bringing in that closer? Goodness territory. I love I love the, the Route 66 gas station and the Barbie <laughs> thing. Uh, yes, you can make other accounts on the console. It's not a console ban. Um, you, you can you can get you can make another PlayStation account. And my you, my brother in law got a console ban on Xbox. Oh really? Well, that's I mean that's different. He was doing you something. You console with, uh, for. He was doing something with like NBA 2K. Oh, like a mod chip, maybe? No, it was like there was some glitch to hack your my player or something, and he did it because he's an idiot. Faithful Nate says Miggy is his favorite player ever. Do I think there's any way he will come out again so a poor person like him can get him? Um, I think your best bet is probably going to be just saving your stubs to get him. Mm -hmm. So love me and Miggy. Wish he had any speed. What are you talking about, Leo? Uh, the question marks? I, like I said, if you've got... I, I think Seer is a beast. Um, you upgrade yourself in two or three other positions. I think that's okay. The gas house. Snake Doctor says the gas station was the logo for his uh, fantasy team. The gas house. Did we talk about the gas house, uh, TJ? No. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Um, War Dog says FIFA this year was trashed. Uh, I don't know. I liked career mode. I'm not a big ultimate team guy when it comes to FIFA, so. Uh, I have FIFA just wore me down. Play Best way to make... <laughs> you ready for this? <laughs> Best way to make stubs. <laughs> Apparently, canceling orders from the uh, console if you put it in with the PlayStation 4. <laughs> yeah. No, like, um, the answer is the not playing games because you make yeah, nothing playing. I just made 77 dance... subs for that game. The answer is absolutely flipping cards. Um, go on to Diamond or Daddy Leagues or do it on your own. Go into the market, see what your see what sort, the largest difference is. Yeah. Yep, sort by profit. And Pick then me another stadium. Profit. Well, or if someone in the chat another stadium? stadium. Yeah, man, we're crushing. This will be the last game. Uh, last game, okay. Um, give me a minor league stadium. Um, just a greens. What? I do like Main Street, though. Can I get one from the chat? Chat, chat. Give me your... uh, Yeah, playing the Yukon Yetis is more for grinding innings. I don't think that's a great way to make stubs. I did, believe it or not, I was talking about how trash my words have been. I did get Brantley after playing the Yetis. Oh, wait, you have the flashback dime? Oh, screw that. If you've got flashback Pedroia, why are you going to do the Cardinals? Oh, yeah. There you go. Uh, CB5 says that right too. Challenge of the week and battle royale can give you good rewards as well, um, especially is if they... you play that. Yes, no, um, battle royale front. is really good if you can get cards you can sell. So CB5 is absolutely right about that. By the way, Bayfront, 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 and he is the one to know. Yeah, we just Bay, Bayfront was the one, the one we played before. Give me a date and time. Is it the one we played before? God. Yeah, that was the one with this. <laughs> I'm telling you, people like the one. People like me. People like Millennium. I guess I'm going to... Mill is a man of a people. He also got Kershaw from a defense wins pack. You bastard. Oh, Snake got Stanton as an after game reward tonight. Dude, Snake, do you know that guy just started mashing after that upgrade? You got some, you got some, that you got some broke ass gold. Couldn't even get <laughs> a diamond. Long. That, that dude just started raking this weekend. So Yeah, we'll see if it stays. Yeah, CB5 said he just did the Marlins collection. 
um, because he just went down. Hey. This is absolutely the time to do it before he goes back up. Late June? Sounds like a good time for him to hop back on that DL train. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Mike Stanton, great player. <laughs> this is the same guy. Huge fan of the Braves relievers. Oh, he sold them for twenty eight k. Nice. Go buy him back. Snake, did I tell you? By the way, there's a good chance I have Kemp by the end of the week. I got Edinson Volquez going for me today. I really wanted to do the uh, start doing the American League collection, but I don't think. I mean, I've already got. You know, a bunch of third basemen, and I don't really need a rod for that. A rod's beast, though. Does he have second base ability? Detroit no, he's got all. No, he's a third baseman. I'm the away team playing at Petco Park. The AL, the AL collection is the Yankees' third base version of him. Almost fell out of my chair there. I'm gonna let this guy throw me a couple balls before I start swinging. <laughs> Guys, uh, if you want to work a pitcher, you know what you do? Just put your controller down. Just put it down. <laughs> Just take a couple pitches. Don't even think about it. Don't even worry. I just took a strike down the middle of the plate. Am I sweating it? No. Because I just took ball two. Two, one count. I'm going to pick up the controller now. Is that a Royo pigeon for him? Yes, it is. Nice. And I just swung at some trash. I should have just left the controller on the ground. I do like Petco Park in this game. Petco is absolutely gorgeous in the game. I feel like I've been getting a lot more of the uh, ball not showing up in the same place as the feedback. Especially last night. It was bad. <laughs> Snake Doctor says Stalker is his main guy and Kemp is his side piece trying hard to be number one. The Kemp's a beast. I'm not going to lie. I know. Ball four. Marcelo Zuna working that walk. Wish he had more speed. Uh, agreed. Agreed, Cowbell. Uh, Cowbell says Cardinal Bird. He just wanted to tell CB5 that his pick and play series rocks. I'm also a fan. Yo, Ian Desmond, showing me something here, folks. Gomes, we don't have an official word on what it is. I think the the for what the Stubbs exploit is, I think the idea that we've all gotten behind is you put an order in on PS4, um, you go into your PC and cancel it while you're still logged on to your PS4, and you get Stubbs back, something like that. Oh, yeah. faithful! What, what are you what are you putting money on tonight, buddy? <laughs> Desmond put one to the track and didn't get it out. Vado puts it into the bullpen. I'm gonna go take a screenshot of that bullpen since uh, it looks so good. I was saying that earlier, CB. You weren't here. Am I am I right in saying you're one of the top ten players? But if you were to sort by games, you don't have as many games played as some of those guys. Um. I, I don't know. You're, you weren't here earlier when I was talking about it, but I saw. I remember looking through like the leaders of the World Series division and noticing that your innings weren't anywhere near what theirs were. So I said, I, I a lot of people were like, you know, he's a top five guy. I said probably top three, top two, considering, you know, you don't get to play as many games as they do. Am, am I right in saying that, or am I missing something? Ooh, threw it inside of me. Uh, one thing I do like about uh, MLB is if you are good, you will rise to that top of the leaderboard. But Madden, if you just play a lot of games, you'll rise to the top of the leaderboard. Yeah, and I think that was one of the things that they, they're trying to correct um, Matt Marco in their eSports division. Is, like, with the... Whoa! <laughs> it's not happy. I, I don't know what this guy's trying to do. But very mad about that Vado home run. <sighs> yeah, um... So... I think that's one of the things they're trying to change this year with like the draft champions and the salary cap salary capped ranked. I think they're trying to whittle down who plays like a good a good median between who plays the most and who in the win percentage. Yeah, CB five CB five agrees with you. He he loves the the way they work. A chess rating. Dude, you and I are going to have to go into like a Twitter DM at some point and have that explained. We should just play chess. <laughs> I meant I meant CB5. I assume CB5 is go because I beat Javo, uh, Javo, so it's all good. You, beat, you beat, didn't beat Javo. You beat Javo's extra endings team. No, uh, no, like last year I beat Javo. Oh, you played him like heads up. Gotcha. 
Yeah. I play, I got matched up against him twice in a week. Larry Hover, we're not, I mean, I'm not going to talk too much about him. Hopefully, that's, hopefully all of that's fixed this year. He slapped me the first time, but I beat him the second time. Phil Necro, where they at? <laughs> you know what I'd like to see, CB? I'd like to see a Battle Royale leaderboard. Like something along those lines. Because you're right. The DD is just sometimes about who has the better team. Battle Royale could probably level that out. <laughs> oh, I've got a mute button on my microphone and cough anyway. I am professional. I'm going to deuce this guy. Oh. We'll see, Larry. I mean, for Ultimate Team and Madden, I've, I'm have i self-professed that I don't play a lot of head-to-head. -head. Uh, TJ plays a ton of head-to-head -head compared to me. Yeah, until my um, team gets blown out by everybody, and then I go, nah, I'm yeah. alright with this. <laughs> uh, but for me, I for Madden and Ultimate Team, for me, I just love playing the offline stuff and collecting. So... Ooh. I'm not gonna lie, did not deserve that pitch. Yeah, I know. I mean, I know about the accolade, but I think I think you agree with me, uh, CB, that it would be awesome to have like a leaderboard specifically for BR with like you know records and ratings and stuff like that. I think that'd be cool. I'm curious how the matchmaking in BR happens because the rating that they give the the rating search. It's not. It doesn't look like it's the Diamond Dynasty rating search. This guy is not loving this umpire. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going outside more and more and more. Oh wow! Jeez. He came a little inside on the next one. <laughs> hey CB, CB, you ready for this? You ready for this, buddy? I wish it was a five inning battle royal. Salary cap ranked for MLB Diamond Dynasty. But how do you? What do you randomly pick numbers for guys? I don't understand how that whole thing works. No, you sell you salary cap them based on rating, like like they did for men. Hmm. Interesting. Salary cap, salary cap ranked based on overall. Yeah. Yep, based well, not necessarily overall. Like I don't think Madden is all based on overall. Definitely. Not. I think there's yeah no their salary caps are based on individual ratings. So you take like your budget beast and they they cost a little bit more. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's no no CB yeah uh, CB said he's talked about it already. I guarantee he's talked about it. CB's the Diamond Dynasty guy, so. Ugh, I'm making good contact. Just I gotta check the. I mean, uh, they have the it in Madden. They, it's gonna start showing up in all game modes now, especially if you want to get it like an esports feel to that. Wind's blowing out. I didn't put that out. I'm very upset right now. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's right. There's one tournament that CB he said he hosted a tournament where it was limited to an 82 overall. It was a ton of variety in the lineups and tons of upsets. I'd be way more excited about that if I could actually have multiple squads, like set up. Oh yeah, I mean that would be a must for that kind of thing. Oh, he got me all excited about doing that kind of stuff. That'd be so awesome to have like a like a silver like say like I said 82 overall you could put a diamond in there but you better get the bronzes to back it up get out and I got a non-warm pitcher that's gonna be good yeah you can use, I agree the commons you can do kind of the commons and put them on your bench and bullpen mound visit Matt Albers bring your big ass in here Agreed. I absolutely agree. They need a way to set like four or five different lineups, especially at the very least lefty righty. Like have a left left lefty and a righty lineup. Uh, I don't know about that. What do you mean? I would rather you have to use your twenty five man to make your lefty and righty lineup. Oh no no, I don't mean like once you're already in game, so be it. Oh, I get you mean you mean you're talking about before you get into the game. Gotcha, okay. Yeah. Because I don't want it to be every time I play, play, well, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm Ramon saying. said, okay, so we got a guy in the chat. Johnny Flash 420 says, Ramon said I was banned for too many community market transactions. How many community Oh, CB5. 
you play a ton more online than I do, but I can't tell you how how upsetting it is because I've got like three lefties in my Diamond Dynasty lineup. How many times people back out and I'm like, come on. I mean, I would run a Diamond Dynasty tournament, a, a, a Diamond Dynasty tournament. That just seems like a lot of work. I'll leave that all. So, so Johnny, here's my question, and, and this is a this is a place of safety. <laughs> All right, <laughs> this is a complete place of uh, y- you can feel safe here. Did you do anything that might not be deemed kosher on the community? Um, like possibly, I don't know, canceling orders and gaining stubs off of it. That's my that's my question. I mean, did you do anything that you got stubs off of that may not be considered right? If so, follow the channel. What? I'm telling them to follow your channel. See, I'm trying to get the people to follow. Hey, even if you did do it wrong, follow the channel. I, I'm curious. I mean, seriously, I'm I'm curious. Oh yeah, it's so annoying. <laughs> Shut up, Snake, you idiot. <laughs> the worst part was I was I think I was doing a Battle Royale on stream not too long ago and I was trying to trying to uh like meditate while I was doing it so not to get get upset. I have a tendency to rage a little bit when I swing at terrible pitches. It happens a lot. I know, especially when we play. Bam! What if it was a long-running gag that always beat you on stream? Uh, that wouldn't be a gag. I pretty much lose all the time on stream. That's true. I don't think... I seriously don't think... No, I lie. I won my Rockies... Uh, we did Rockies opening day this uh, yesterday for 2018, and I won 12-7. to 7. Hey, congratulations. Yeah, no kidding, right? Getting off the season on a good start. We, we won against Granky, too. I 100% I was like we're in a safe place we're going to be waiting for our pitch and I'd swing it like something terribly out of the zone I'd be like oh mother f whoa whoa Marcelo Zuna shopping Brock alive <sighs> yeah, guys I- don't forget we do this every Monday night at 10pm uh, Eastern Standard Time or EDT at this point Yep. And the so archives go the... up on youtube.com slash that sports gamer usually the next day, but since Twitch to YouTube always takes forever, and then the little editing part takes a little bit. Uh, I say Wednesday just to be safe, but. Yep. So don't forget to give this fo- this channel a follow. Uh, give a subscription to youtube.com slash that sports gamer. Ah, another crush to fall deep center. Frustrating. Frustrating. Uh, Guys in the chat that you should probably follow or two guys have been talking the whole time. Uh, Snake Doctor and Cardinal Bird 5, both excellent and will be the show streamers in themselves. Um, <laughs> TJ is putting out a ton of links right now that you can also do. I got your... Oh, I don't have the Twitch. Your Twitch it's there. Showing up as, yeah, but it's not showing up as a linky link. That's fine. Highlight and paste. Oh, because it had ad operations sports, and that's why. Oh, damn. Thanks, Nick. That'd be awesome. Oh! This Dude, I, I'm, I'm 100% getting in on one of those uh, home run derbies, by the way. I'm a home run derby freak. I love that mode. And then one day, I want, I want CB5 to stream him doing the challenge of the week because I got no idea how he does that well in that mode. <laughs> Every time you look at the leaderboards on uh, on Challenge of the Week, it's always CB5 up there. This guy's very upset that I swung at a 3-0 he's fastball with Joey Votto. And hit pitching, him. Like, he's pitching at you. He's throwing balls at you. I mean, you could follow Healy6. Um, I highly recommend it. Good dudes. Yeah. Healy6 is a great streamer, too. Healy, dude, what was I watching? Oh, man, I was watching him the other day. What the hell was he streaming? I believe he was streaming a video of him actually wearing some Healy's. 
<laughs> oh man, dude. Um, Can so we, wait. So now should we all email the show at PlayStation no. Sony dot com? Uh, no. Because this guy is what we call griefing. Is he holding me hostage right now? I think so. That's two bean balls. And no, no, I, you'll get. Um, <laughs> I put up a. I put up a video. So uh, I put up a video of me getting pissed at somebody on a bunch of cheese. You'll so I beat him like five. I beat him like five times in a row. You'll get mercy. He'll get mercy ruled for it. Uh, Cardinal Bird is currently third on something. I don't know what. The only six has the video of the year. What is this video of the year you guys are talking about? By the way, Keely um, rebuilds the twins on one of his on one of his streams. Um, he also plays a ton of BR, but Overwatch. He plays Overwatch. I love Overwatch. So I bet much. if I throw one pitch at his batter, I'll get a warning. I'm up four zips. So I ain't going to risk it. Uh, I don't know. I <laughs> I don't know what exactly. I think some of that might be. Uh, hostaging an account, like actually like hacking some guy's account and holding it hostage. I think that's might what that might have been. But who was looking for an outfielder with an arm? Jay Worth. Oh, Jason. Yeah. This is not. Not the, that was a nice play off the wall, by the way. This is not the cleanest start to the third inning. Healy. Um. Yeah. If, if you can't, I think it, I, other people can post links in here, right? I believe Healy can. Yeah. If Post not, a link, absolutely. If not, we can uh, we can set that up. <laughs> Don't you ever cap on me again, Healy. Battle. Ooh, best batting angle. BMO, who are you going to ask? Um, I play on Fish Eye and love it. I'm an offset TJ guy. Plays, TJ plays an offset, yep. Um, I think CB5 and Snake are both uh, that strike zone. Stuff. <laughs> strike zone guys yeah i mean it, you really have to play a couple games with each angle and figure out what's best for you that's a great thing to do in conquest mode hold on i'm, I'm going to this youtube link i gotta see this logan's getting tired this guy's just swinging at anything oh jesus <laughs> oh come on boo. <laughs> so I just first of all, I just subscribed to Healy. Um, so you're late on the games, what you're saying? Yeah. Oh. But uh. Yo, if you got Jose Batista and you just look at a slider right over the middle of the plate, just take a seat. Oh, S Snake says he's an offset zoom guy. So there you go. He was. Uh, I know. Like I said, I think CB is a strike zone guy. Snake is an offset zoom. So. All right. Two. That's long. hilarious. The link that Healy posted, by the way, is the Hitler video that people post, but um, out in, like, he, he created the subtitles for the glitch, for the card glitch mm. that happened a week ago, or two weeks ago. Can I tell you, there's two Operation Sports ones of that, <laughs> of people calling me out for banning them from years ago. It's hilarious. Well, maybe you're the one that banned all these people from MLB. That's it, guys. I am the reason people are banned from MLB. That's that's just the way it is. I ban people from OS. I went to Sony and banned people there, too. Next up, I'm going down to Florida. I'm banning people from Madden. All right, folks. Joey Votto, two for two. Two hits, two home runs, two... He got more than two RBIs, right? Yeah. Uh, player of the game, kind of a beast. Dude, I thought you weren't hitting well with Votto. <sighs> wasn't. Just like... Uh, Beltray, just got to come around. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching uh, Bullpen Banter tonight. As we said earlier, you can follow me on Twitter, at ThatSportsGamer. Uh, please follow the channel here. We appreciate that very much. And by we, I mean I. Uh, also, don't forget the archives are up on YouTube.com slash ThatSportsGamer. Usually the next day, maybe the day after. Uh, Chris, please tell them about yourself and where they can find you. As you, uh, you can follow my Twitch at twitch.tv slash Operation Sports. Every Sunday at 1 o'clock, we do a Rockies franchise that you can control. I let the chat control the moves. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter at Millennium OS, two L's, two N's. Please ask questions about franchise mode. I have all the numbers permanently tattooed in my brain, so I love answering franchise questions. Yeah, we love uh, franchise. He loves franchise questions. I love Diamond Dynasty or literally anything about this game. Uh, 
Baseball, my favorite sport. Let's keep doing this. Uh, we're not making this stuff up, as we saw. Uh, underscore tips hit a grand slam with Justin Ruggiano mere seconds after I said you should probably pick up Justin Ruggiano. Uh, other than that, folks, please, we've uh, we've been here in this bullpen chatting it up. Uh, I see a man over there. He's tapping his elbow like this. You can't see it. Uh, but, yeah, get out of the bullpen. Get into the game. Go out there and win some dubs. Take some screenshots with the screenshot functionality and tweet them at us so we can retweet those. Uh, Stop using cell phones. If you take a picture with your uh, Motorola Razor, uh, I'm going to ban you and just pretend like you don't even exist anymore. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys. Uh, we'll be back again next Monday. Oh, stay tuned to twitter.com slash that sports gamer to find out when we're going live next. I think Tuesday, Monday is the 4th of July, right? Yes, it plan? is. Our plans Tuesday. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Yes. All right. Uh, yeah. So Tuesday, 10 PM Eastern. Uh, we'll see you guys again. Thank you very much. And, uh,